Alrighty. Um, I wish I had a little bit more of a plan today, but we have a slight plan. And the plan is pastel rainbows. Because it's like a... It, it's a blizzard. It seems dramatic to call it a blizzard, but it's a fucking blizzard outside. And I'm not happy about it. So... I think I think I deserve some some pastel rainbows in my life. And of course the pastel rainbows in question or in well not in question, that's not appropriate. That I'm talking about are those from Color Club. Welcome everyone. I feel like the intros are more like for the YouTube viewers because it usually takes a minute or two. To get live ears and I forgot to check the chat is working appropriately but it is um and of course if you ever decide you want to watch live instead of watching on YouTube you can come follow me over at twitch.tv slash Colette MSLP and it almost doesn't feel weird to say that. I mean it's just like I don't know at the beginning of my YouTube videos I have like a subscribe call to action and like sometimes I wonder if I need to make it more dramatic like some people have like a button flying in and like you know <sighs> clicky clicky sounds like all this like subliminal stuff like it does is that really effective is that's really what's necessary I feel like people by now understand how subscribing works and doesn't work on YouTube hi son son <laughs> I sh I'll take a picture. I will take a picture since my camera is not mounted yet and show you if I can get it to capture what it looks like outside my window right now. Okay, camera. Um, wonder how this will... Oh, come on, ring light. There we go. That, that's out my window this very instant. Uh, you know, it's hard to take pictures of falling snow, but the snowflakes are big and they're coming down heavily. And I don't know if you caught the... Uh, I put up a polish in motion of Burnt Out because it was phenomenal. And I actually got like a pretty good polish in motion of it. And I was like kind of super proud of myself for actually editing it and putting it up and it didn't just, you know, like sit... I, I've got polish emotions for tons of polishes that I've never actually posted. But like you can see in that video, there's no snow. I was outside in like a hoodie. Um, it was like 70 something degrees here on Monday and now we have a blizzard. So let's, uh, Hey Lexi, welcome on in. I'm just, uh, getting my tutorial camera mounted up here real quick because I'm pretty sure we're going to be doing a tutorial. I want to do some sketchbook swatches of these, which I just realized I don't really have very well in frame. Um, whoa, come on here. Come on here, ring light. That's better. There we go. <clears throat> Yeah, like that that's kind of what I was hoping son. It's like 31 degrees. So it's it's like 2 degrees away from being rain, but I don't think we're going to get those 2 degrees and it's it's really coming down. Um current forecast is like 10 inches. Like the fuck. Oh! <laughs> I'm trying not to get like angry about it cuz I mean, I don't even have to go anywhere. I really I have no reason to be mad about it other than the fact that it was really nice out and I was enjoying like sitting outside in the sun and just like hanging out with the animals like like in the polish in motion like got like two days of that yeah they were they said a thing where, and I didn't really remember that it did this shit last year we got 15 inches around the same date so it, it's it's completely not out of the ordinary but it's it's still it's still just a bummer. It's a bummer. So to fight the blizzard, I should have. Oh well, 
if if anybody if anybody comes in we can direct them to the beginning of the stream for a picture of the blizzard i was gonna say i should have had you clip that it's probably too far too far gone to clip now um a couple of these i think probably won't make the cut i'm thinking probably not this one or this one but maybe they'll surprise me when we swatch them and not real swatches yet of course just okay so remember how i told you guys if i like stream anything else i am definitely procrastinating and you guys are supposed to call me out on it i i found a completely new way to procrastinate i have so many things i could be doing and you know it has been consuming my time you will nobody will ever guess this nobody will ever guess this oh you guys heading up to wisconsin yeah they're probably getting very very similar um it it just dawned on me i was like man i i wish i knew how to knit my own like slouchy beanie just you know learning ancient Arabic, <laughs> about as weird i was like man i wish i could knit my own beanie because when i was looking for like a good you know nice slouchy beanie i never could find one what is today the 10th um because i have kind of a big head and you know if my hair is out like i got a lot of hair even when my hair is like twisted or braided up but i was like you know as an alternative to the like scarf and twisty do doodad thing when when my hair is not done which honestly you guys like i like the i like the scarf look well enough that i don't feel bad about being lazy with my hair um but i was like i you know i know how to knit what do i need 80 degrees to krista i wish i mean i think it's supposed to get warm fairly quickly again after this shit i hope it can't possibly get like so warm so quick that i'm not gonna have to shovel though i i thought i was done shoveling for the year <laughs> then again my snow scraper is still in the back seat of my car so i guess i i knew in a way but um so i'm sitting here looking at youtube videos of how to how to knit a scarf and looking and i'm like oh you need like circular needles i'm like i got circular needles at this church sale last year and i pull them out and i'm like oh they're not the right size so i'm sitting here on amazon looking at different sets of circular knitting needles and oh my god some of these are really on here tight you guys which I mean is better than loose and there's like all these sets and like I realize as I'm doing it god why do I feel like this page is dusty um we have gone over the colors again do you guys want me to go over the colors now anyway I'm sitting here looking at like all these different knitting needle sets and I'm like dude my taxes aren't done <laughs> why am I looking at knitting needles somebody please tell me I'm like I'm the worst procrastinator ever is the moral of that story oh that sucks son yeah but see well you actually do that I I was doing dishcloths for for my family but like I don't know I fell off I didn't even have enough to gift them for Christmas <laughs> I only have like a handful done. You guys want to get a little closer? There we go. Um, now, of course, you know, we talked last time about how the camera struggles with these colors because they're, they're pastel, but they are bright. They are, for the most part, neon-y. Some are worse than others. This is actually not too bad. This is first class sass. A little bit brighter, I think, swatched out than it is in the bottle. Mm. oh leaving in a few minutes well thank you for popping in sacrista even if it is only for a little bit you are still i mean it's not like no you have to stay for the whole stream or you can't come at all like that'd be that'd be some bullshit i think every streamer understands from like a viewer perspective like that's that's always fine i appreciate any amount of time you can pop in and hang out yeah i really you, you guys might get sick of seeing these colors. I don't get in a pastel mood very often, but I love this collection. I might pull out some of the older ones too to play with, but not probably for this. For this, we're gonna, we're gonna swatch them out, which will also be for future reference. 
Ooh, maybe I sh should I, you guys also want to, we going to swatch out the oil slicks. And again, I feel stupid doing this when I know I'm eventually going to have real swatches for all of them, but I want to do some stuff with the oil slicks too. Um, oh, and here's a black. No, that's not black. That's dark blue. I was going to say, cause I kind of want to see how they look swatched over white versus over black. I mean, cause they're, I mean, they're like rainbows in a bottle also. All right, let's get going. Anyway, I want to pick out like the easteriest of these colors and uh, do a smooshy. Just like, and, and then I want to do like some rainbow stuff. We'll, we'll see. But I mean, like I can't use all 12 together probably. <laughs> In a water marble, I probably could. Not, not today. That's not what we're doing today. Anyway. Maybe eventually, though. Is that too much? Is that too many colors to water marble with? Um, this is Talk to the Hand. Ooh, that's like a step up. And the camera is... I love the formula on these, too. Like I said, they're they're thick and creamy, and I think... I mean, painting them on paper is not the same, of course, as painting them on your, on your nails. Oops. Um, this is a uh, get it girl, get it girl. Oh, and it's very, very tight. Like I showed last time, if you look at the, at the brush, like it just looks pink. The brush is actually black. So you've got that level of opacity. A lot of polishes, you know, you pull the brush out and you can still, you can still see the black brush, like right through the polish. And this is, you know, there's not... I don't know that there's a true, true pink in this collection. I think for a pink, you'd have to go to the other collection where like there were multiple pinks, even like the purple was almost leaning a pink in the other collection. Um, Cause this is really more coral than pink. Like it looks pink cause it's like the only other pink than uh, this, which is totally worth it, which is not really neon. and. I mean, it looks more like kind of a mauve. Oh, there we go. God, I'm trying not to like hurt my fingers. <laughs> They're just so dang tight. Oh, that feels like a slightly different formula. And like, it's not as opaque. Can you guys, yeah, like see there how it looks almost like I mean it's not a jelly but it has almost a jelly consistency hmm yeah I don't like that one as much and it's I mean it's not neon it's it's not it's not we're probably not gonna use that like it did it I feel like it doesn't quite fit like I can slot it into the the ombre of all the colors but it it doesn't really fit with the tone of the others. <clears throat> this is Girl Gand. Ooh. I mean, just look at how bright the ones beside it are. And then it's in there like. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's so juvenile. And then I see that Butt Spot is here. That's like perfect timing. <laughs> Oh, butt spot. <laughs> um, this is Can You Not? And this is the one I said I had like several purples that were very, very close relations to this color. But not dupes. Not, not dupes. You know, that's kind of interesting. This one also got glare. Can you see there? Has a little bit of a thinner formula. But that is, I mean, it is bright and neon still. Not like the other one. Definitely thinner than the others, though. Not as opaque. The other thing when I do, like, real swatches that'll be nice is that, I mean, like, when I do this, I'm kind of just glommed it on there because I want it to be opaque. It's like a color reference. It's not like a, it's not a real swatch. But, like, doing them on the swatch sticks, like, we'll really be able to take a better look at, like, formula and stuff, like, how many coats is this to get opaque? 
I, I need to get on top of that. I feel guilty. I've been streaming for almost a year now, you guys. And we still haven't gotten around to doing this shit. Uh, this is Get Lost. This is the other one that's like not a neon. It's not. It is very tightly closed. I wonder. Are these. I think I feel like these bottles are too small for my for my nutcracker which I used to open polish by the way yeah I don't think I don't I don't know okay so I can't use that do I have a rubber band yes yes I do alright oh this rubber band is a piece of shit I hope it doesn't break Oh, that was, I mean, that's like so magical, you guys. <laughs> I mean, it's not magical. I'm sure it's like, I don't know, science and shit. Uh, get lost. I think I already said that. It was so easy. Like, I didn't feel like I had a bad grip before. My fingers weren't sliding around. Ugh. So, like, the formulas on these are kind of hit or miss. Like, some of them are just nice and opaque, and some of them are this kind of more patchy thing going on. I mean, it's not unworkable. Like, oh, it's no pause. Like, I can't even. Like, it's not like, let me get my rubber band off this. You, it's not like you can't get a solid coat of color off of it. It's just, it's kind of disappointing next to the other colors in the collection. Hey, Amethyst, we are doing pat. The, the plan is an Easter pastel smooshy. Um, I don't know that I'll, ooh, this, this, I mean, like, you see how, like, nice that is compared to the other one? This is the niceness of this that makes the other one so nasty. Like, if they were all like the other one, it would be whatever. But that is just so much nicer and creamier and yummier. Um, so, so yeah, I'm fighting the blizzard with bright colors. I want to pick like Easter colors, which is not necessarily a rainbow. You know what I mean? Like, I don't think pastel orange really is being too much of an Easter color. You think like yellow, pink, purple, blue, green, almost actually almost all colors except for, except for, uh, orange, <laughs> but I don't know. We'll see. We'll, we'll do some tests. We've got a little bit of room here for testing, too. Or we might have to might have to go to a different page. Yeah, if I swatch out the oil slicks, I'll probably have to go to a different page. Whatever. That is, that's fine. Also, hello. Yeah, I think we have one of those, like, downstairs in the kitchen. But yeah, basically all I did was I took this... I, did, I don't think I really showed it. I think one of these greens is also really stubborn. And I wrapped it around there and then I just used it to open it. This is, I'm out of here. This is very like, as in between blue and green as you can be. Like, I don't know whether to call that turquoise or teal. You know what I mean? Aquamarine, perhaps? <laughs> no, I don't feel like that's appropriate either. I like it. I like it a lot. It's all in the attitude. Oh, this is the one the camera hates. Um, that's close-ish. It's still brighter. No, this camera doesn't know what to do with it. Can you? No. <laughs> this one is the closest, but it's still not. I think I did, didn't I? Post a picture with the tutorial camera of the whole collection in Discord. I'm pretty sure oranges, oranges for carrots. That's true. God, let I kind of want to do like some kind of carrot nail art with this orange as the carrot. And it would probably be with this green as the tassel. What's it actually called? Um, it's all in the attitude. I don't remember if I said that already. And Oh, I'm almost out of room here. I need to make this like not hugely wide. Yeah, that's like a really nice bright green of the good formula variety. There's there's overall more the good than the bad unless these last two both suck. 
Um, anything but basic, which I would call limon. <laughs> oh my God, this is the other one that's really stuck. Okay, so this this rubber band is like pretty sad and old, but like just. Uh oh, it's not working as magically as before. God damn it. Well, shit. I, this this I think is the one I tried to open during the haul and didn't want to open. Come on here, polish. Oh, there we go. Oh, almost out of room. Oh, that's so nice and opaque. I like that. I mean. Like when you're doing neons, like one of the problems often is that they're not opaque and then you gotta like fuck around with getting like a nice even white base coat. I feel like I want to do something with these like more than just a smooshy. Like smooshy was the plan. Um, and this last one is like a ball. Smooshy was the plan. But like they're so good, you guys. This is, this is kind of, uh. Like, I almost feel like this could be amped up a little bit to really, like, this one is not, these, these two are not neon. This, like, that one's bright, and this one's bright, and this one's bright, and then, like, this one, and this one, and this one, I guess this one's kind of bright, too, and this one, and this one are neon, that one's kind of just bright. You guys like my super technical mark up here yeah i mean i had it pretty it was it was just really really stubborn that one <laughs> all right sacrista thanks for popping in have a good day mm. let's uh i have opi black here which I kind of need to remember to replace because oh my god this one's well that's got to be my fault the stem's got to be dirty um because it was so empty when we were trying to water marble with it that I had to like hold it in my hand oh my god okay let's get the because it will fit on here there we go god it it feels so clogged. How bad is this stem? Oh. Could you hear that crunchiness? All oh, these flakes of dried polish. Okay, let me just, oh my God. <laughs> Every time I like tilt it to try and get the polish, then like more little crusties flake off. I just wanna do like a strip of black like the length of the page because these are 12 so the oil slicks should also swatch in the same space as long as i'm mindful could even be like a little skinnier so i didn't like almost run out of room oh, can you see oh you can't see all this fallout that i'm getting sorry Ugh. <laughs> all right just trying to make sure this is opaque and then i'll just swatch them half on and half off of this black Ugh. <laughs> the crustiness is so real If I remember, I should take another picture out my window when the stream is over and see if you can tell the difference of the as the snow is building up. I feel like I can, especially like over across the street, like against my neighbor's steps and stuff where nobody has walked, like as the stairs gradually become just like a mound. <laughs> okay, so we'll scoot these just slightly out of the way here. And we'll get these out. These being the oil slicks. 
And I don't think I have these in much of an order. I just, whoa. <laughs> just put them in here. Okay. You know what I should have done before I started stream? Is I should have updated my, my nails command to actually be... Um, what am I doing here? I the the polish and motion that I put up. Okay, I think we'll do like like something like this for our swatching order. Yeah, that should be good. Okay, and maybe I will just briefly go over the colors while this black is finishing drying. Ninja, hello. We are having some color therapy. I wonder if I can I maybe I can do an updated picture on my cell phone since my since my camera is hooked up to the to the ring light now and I can't show you guys that one anymore. Let's uh cooperate with me here, camera. Is your lens clean? Okay, let's Dr. Crotron coming through with the 10 month sub. That reminds me also, I saw a sunburn. There was a thing that popped up for you for eight months when when we were not here. So thank you, Dr. Crotron, and belatedly thank you to Sun. Okay. Let's see if this'll can you Okay, let me Wait, wait, wait. What was that? Go away. Okay. Go like this. That's, that's out my window right now. For those just joining us. You can kind of see, like, there's supposed to be some stairs right there. That's how much snow we've had so far. <laughs> oh, my God. That's the biggest crow awe pyramid. Nobody stopped it because crow awe is the most adorable emote. <clears throat> well, thank you. I, I meant, I saw it and I was like, I need to remember to say thank you. And then I forgot. And then I remembered. So I'm glad that I remembered. Hiya, Doc. Um, <laughs> okay, is this, this is still drying. We got, we got a strip of black here drying because we're going to swatch the, the oil slicks over white and over black. We're, we're having color therapy because of all that snow outside. So we already swatched out the, uh, whatever forevers, <clears throat> the pastel neons. And now we're going to do the oil slicks, but the manicure is probably going to be with the pastels. Because, like, Easter is coming up pretty quickly here. So if I'm going to do something Easter, I kind of need to, like, do it. Not that pastels have to be for Easter, but, I mean, if I'm going to claim one to be Easter, then... You you know what I'm saying, y'all. I got I to gotta take advantage of these tentpole events. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, it's weird when the notifications come at like different times or in different areas for the same subscription. Okay, so we're just going to go over the colors quickly while the black finish is drying. You're going too fast, dude. It's snowing. Um, I'm such an old lady. <laughs> out my window. <laughs> don't be driving so fast in my neighborhood. Yeah, Emmy, I don't plan on going anywhere. I'm going to sit here and, and have my little color therapy and then I'm going to have me some dinner. <laughs> um, I don't I don't have anywhere to go, thankfully. Like not not just like today. I don't have to go anywhere tomorrow either, so I'm I'm safe on that front. Especially like we like I've complained about before, like you all know, since my all-wheel drive is broken, my ass is staying home till this shit melts. Um, cause there's no way in hell Minneapolis will declare a snow emergency in April cause they just count on it getting warm and they're fucking assholes. Anyway, 
onto this beautiful baby pink with a flash of blue. <laughs> um, this is smooth move. That that was such a smooth move. That was such a smooth transition. Y'all don't even know. Off to eat dinner. All right, Lexi. Thanks for hanging out. Have a good dinner. I was. I mean, I'm, I know I have dinner when I have, when I'm done streaming, but when people are like, I don't know, I'm starting to get hungry. So I'm slightly envious. I'm not like starving. I'm just like, if I wasn't streaming, I would probably grab a snack, but I will actually just wait until after stream to have actual, actual meal. Um, okay. Smooth move. We already talked about her. Um, she's kind of the girliest, pinkiest of them all. And I'm, your car is loud. I'm hoping that once we swatch them, we can get some more of the jewel chrome. In fact, I need to, can I, I need, I need to pay more attention to that one. I'm showing you guys. All right, there we go. There's her blue. Oh, I mean, it's a girl cause it's pink, obviously. Assuming a nail polish is gender in 2019. Oh my God. Sorry, not Sorry is very coppery also has kind of a pinky hint underneath there and a little bit of goldiness then we have carrot cake it's like bronze and green ish uh we have ah burnt out you know what let me let me just actually do this um Um, um, is this the command? Okay. Um, oops, I I missed a word. I missed a word. Okay. There. Yes. Yay. I did the thing. Um, so yeah, if you haven't seen that, like go check it out. Cause like, it's so hard to just show it under the ring light and under the artificial light and under the fixed viewpoint angle and just like all the things i'm i mean it's it's basically nail porn but it's really good nail porn for this polish like i've got sun and shade and if you need a fix of clark there's a clark appearance at the end and a beanie appearance but i mean i don't know where he is right now let's make room in case he wants to come join us but i mean you guys get to see beanie all the time um we'll never be royals that's really pretty too i'd love to you know i should maybe i should prepare for once this bullshit snow goes away celeste cleanup tonight or now i i enjoyed the celeste doc i don't know if i will ever be able to play that game but i enjoyed that quite a bit last night um what was I saying? Something about animals. I don't know. Purple haze. It's purple. I see that the black is almost dry, so we need to wrap this up so we can just get on to the swatching. On the vine. Purple. There's lots of purples in this, which I like. Right now, just the stuff. You, oh, you're going back and cleaning up strawberries and stuff? Rhythm and blues. Hooked. Also, this would be a good, I, for me, this or uh, this one, which is frostbite, would be a badass pedicure. Like, I love that color on my toes. Cash only. Mm. This one is so dark. It's like a dark moss green with a navy duochrome almost. Real pretty. And, of course, don't kale my vibe. The greenest of them all. Okay. So this is mostly dry. I'm gonna still try to use like a light hand <clears throat> just in case, but we're gonna do 
half and half in that same order i just went through i'm not gonna name them all again we're just gonna look at them oh fuck these are just as tight words okay little rubber band you are just gonna get a workout today <laughs> oh and i just noticed and maybe i'm like late that the the whatever forevers do have white tops and the uh, multi-chrome the oil slicks do have hollow tops if you care about such thing name them all again dr crotron we just like we literally just did and these also like they're not as opaque as the others like you can see a little bit at the end there but i mean like again like they're fairly opaque when you do the my simple little standard opacity test smooth move dr crotron <laughs> that's what this is called all right okay that's not exactly half and half is the, do i like not know how to speak or did my brain just decide to go ahead and do that on its own it does actually show a little bit of like the duochrome sides personality which is kind of interesting i wonder if the other ones will also do that just with the just with the help of a black background because that actually really helps to show you guys <laughs> like i'm sitting here like no really please believe me there's this color hiding in here but this really like makes it pretty obvious that i'm not bullshitting you they they cream dr crotron <laughs> i mean um <clears throat> this color here is called sorry not sorry which is appropriate oh my god oh, color club why are your bottles so tight should be the industry standard of bottle tightening now this one see this is more opaque i'm trying to make it i'm trying to like shear it out over the black is that a term so that you can kind of see more of a peek through I, you get a little bit of it it's weird that looks weird <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm not gonna make any of the responses that are popping into my head in regards to that. It's term now. Carrot cake. Oh, this one I think will look cool. Oh my god, if I can open it. I need I need to be gentle with my Hollow Knight thumb, y'all. That sounds inappropriate. Everything sounds inappropriate when you're live. Hmm. There, you can really see that green. <laughs> it's so weird. Nail polish is weird, you guys. That's what makes it so cool. Why is this? Oh, because I didn't go back over here where I should be so that I can see things if things decide to happen. Burnt out, which you can see a polish in motion swatch of by typing exclamation point nails. Well, you can't you can if you're on Twitch. If you're watching in the future on YouTube, then hopefully I had my shit together enough to add a card of some sort or a link in the information box. Or YouTube is smart enough to like recommend it in the sidebar for you. <laughs> now look at this, like the you can see on the white that like it's more of a sheer formula. A couple of these, like they're they're not as opaque as these, period but uh like over the black that's really just damn juicy even at one coat i like that it looks almost maroon like you you see like a maroon a bronze and a brown and a gold I, or i do i hope you guys can too I, I, there's a lot of there's a lot of glare and there's a lot of issues if I, I should learn how to deal with that better. I'm pretty sure I've said that before and I haven't learned, but I should. This is will never be Royals. <laughs> What's a Twitch? <laughs> I think a lot of people don't get it. I The thing is, I can get why they don't get it because I wouldn't have got it until I got it. 
But I would have been probably that 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 doesn't show very much at all over the black. Wow, it just looks black on camera. Thanks, camera. Um, I would at least be curious enough to check it out. Like, huh? Maybe I'll take a look. Okay, I promise you guys, it's this, and all this is happening. The camera just, it, the camera just can't handle it. <laughs> like at all. <laughs> Yeah, or some people, like, have an idea in their head about, like, what watching a live stream is or what watching, like, a longer form video is. Um, I, I feel like the haul of these was kind of like a gateway drug for some of my regular viewers because for a while it seemed like I had almost two different groups of people, like, people watching my regular tutorials that didn't watch any of my live streams and then some of the people that watched both but then also like this recommended traffic that was coming to watch my my live streams and the haul had like several comments from people who had like not ever watched one of the longer videos before because they didn't think they would like it and then they were like oh my god and I liked it and I'm like great you know like you, you try it you might like it if if you're watching in YouTube on in the future and it's your first time watching one Tell, tell me why and tell me if you would consider joining live too at twitch.tv slash MSLP. <laughs> I don't know why self promo makes me so amused like I'm already on my own channel it's not like it's a no no I would never do that in somebody else's channel except for maybe like anybody of the porch members all in good fun I feel like this one is not, I feel like, well, number one, I feel like it's a ridiculously wide swatch and I lost control of myself there for a minute, but I was just like so distracted by the fact that, oh wait, there it is. Can you guys see? Like there's a, there's a bright lavender flash and then there's kind of a really dull mauve flash. <clears throat> Yeah, that's that's the thing, son. Like it can be something that you watch in pieces, particularly live. It's like, I, like I said, I do not expect anybody. I mean, I'm flattered if you do. To like, for however many hours this is going, because it just doesn't seem realistic. This is on the vine, Doctor Crotron, who wanted to hear all the names all over again. Um, I mean, based on my own viewing habits it's not realistic um you know i get up i do other things i multitask i have multiple monitors i watch multiple streams you know i don't expect like 110 percent of your attention for four hours straight absolutely or get the fuck out <laughs> and any i mean if any streamer honestly does think that like you're kind of dumb dude you know i expect to be able to like like when when people say, oh, I hope you don't take this the wrong way, but like I fall asleep to you or, you know, whatever, or, you know, I'm, I'm not watching, but I'm listening while I'm doing cooking dinner, doing laundry, folding laundry, stuff, household things. Come on here. Help me out. <laughs> whatever. Like I listen to a lot of streams when I'm editing my own videos. Um... It's, it's no different than having a TV on in the background or a radio on in the background, except it just happens to be Twitch. This is Rhythm and Blues. Did I already say that? Also, I, I also, I mean, I have to admit, if you think I'm like to, you know, YouTube tutorial Colette for four hours straight, maybe, you know, that would be too boring. <laughs> people were like oh my god you're so different <laughs> like yeah it happens i mean i feel like that's the only way i can stream is to kind of just like this is hooked a <laughs> quiz at the end at minute 46 what color was i swatching what minute are we on oh we're on minute 44 that was an excellent estimation 
we just clocked over to minute 45. At minute 45, what color were we swatching? Correct answer. Hooked. Wait, is that what I just swatched or what I... No, I just swatched rhythm and blues. Hooked is what we're... How Colette, how, how Colette was confused on a scale of 1 to 10. Yeah, lurking while cooking. The other night in Dr. Crotron's stream, not to like call out Luke like as an example of Twitchdom or whatever, but like Luke only had audio only on mobile, audio and chat, but he was still hanging out. Like that's the other thing. Like also, again, hi YouTube. If you're watching in the future, like this is I mean, it's a weird kind of interaction. Like if I think about it too hard. But I, I, I super love chatting with you guys. It's so much fun. I, I think we have a lot of fun here. This is frostbite. I mean, there's a lot of nails going on, but there's a lot of... There's just a lot of... Uh, what what did we call it the other day? Tomfoolery and uh, shenanigans. Nails, tomfoolery, shenanigans, and Hollow Knight. <laughs> That's what goes on around here. Mm. this is another one that there you get a lot of that lavender flash over the I did hear you hello no baby <sighs> damn baby <laughs> sometimes we have a cat that hangs out with us but cats are assholes this is cash only we're we're once again almost running out of room. It's this this one's fault. This big old wide fake one. Fake one. Purple one. That's what happens when you talk and read at the same time. <sighs> okay, get the, get the get the rubber band. Beanie, why don't you come here? Come over here in your chair. Come stream with me. Come here. I'll give you a treat if you come over here in your chair. Hmm? Benny wants a treat? He's really thinking hard about it. Do you not want to be an internet sensation anymore, Benny? Do you crave your privacy and the stupid human is too dumb to get it? Mm. Come on over here. What you, you want to see the treats before you'll believe me? Cash only. I would love to see you. Oh, there we go. God, did <laughs> I feel like y'all probably heard that one. It's like they're fucking vacuum sealed or something. It's like I can't. I can't quite get the tone. Wow, that swatch is so weird. From khaki to weird, I can't. I can't quite get like the blue to show on camera. That's really cool though. And kale, my vibe. Weird little map thingy on the bottom. I mean, I don't like. I know about Celeste. Well, Doctor Crotron. All I know is that there's berries and there's B sides and C sides that are harder. And golden berries that are also harder. The berries were so hard. Um, so yeah, there you go, you guys. Some of these, like I said, are really showing their personality over the black. You know, this pink one flashing a blue, this copper one flashing a green. This blue one flash in the lavender. Some of them are like less impressive. But they're all imp they're all more impressive than they're trying to look here. Please believe me. <laughs> please. Please believe me. Okay. Sh should we do a smooshie or should we do something else? I feel like we should do a smooshie. Because that was the plan. What are the easteriest of these colors? Well, not not the oils looks obviously. That was for that whole project was for future reference. 
Um, the ones that really do pop over the black may or may not be the best ones for doing an actual oil slick design with. Like, you know what I mean? Um, oops, I should not put you away with the rubber band on you. Yeah, and I'm still, I mean, I'm still kind of low energy, to be honest. Um... I'm, I'm okay ish <laughs> you know um but I like like I said like we're not doing like water marbling testing we're not I don't want to get into anything too super involved um so yeah we'll, we'll do a we're gonna do a lot of things with these colors though um, one of the other things I had thought about and possibly even pulling in some of the older colors to even more smooth it out is like uh, a reciprocal gradient. Another thing that I thought would be really, really cool is to use these at, for a staggered gradient. I haven't done a staggered gradient in quite a long time, maybe like two years. Is that accurate? Have I not? That was an ugly face, don't forget you saw that. Um. Like, I feel like, let's actually move this over here. So like, I feel like if you put those two together that this kind of mauve color looks pink. Like if you put this in here, it almost looks orange, but if you put the orange in here, then this one looks pink, but it's not really pink, it's coral. We're not using orange. So we could do these two. And then like, I mean not not that one like of these we could we could use like I kind of want to use green and yellow or we could just use instead of the instead of the where where's my camera are we on let's there instead of like using the green and the yellow we could just use the limon and then probably one of these to blend it to blend these in a little bit more probably like the straight up blue one those look easter to you guys or should i we should probably see how this looks i have to be careful here because uh i need a new page but this other page is not dry yet because I think I'm going to need more space than what we have left over here. These are all our purple swatches on the top half of the page, by the way. Um, so we're just going to carefully open this up and leave it open and not like try to tuck it under. Oh, I'll just do like that. Oh, nice. I can like prop it on my, on my mic and then it just like stays upright and then it can still dry. And I do have a stamper. Clean this off. What is on here? Why are you so dirty? Oh, because your underside is dirty. There we go. Um, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Dropped it. Whoa. <laughs> that seemed really loud. Can I just turn that down a little bit? The Cindy Lover. Thank you for the host. Okay. Whoa. I just stick that right there. Okay, so for like really ideally to me, smooshies work really good with three colors. Four colors, I feel like I have more trouble balancing, like balancing the colors. Consistency again, not you know, identicalness. Um, okay, so let's we'll do about two drops each. Whoa, that was a big drop. Ooh. 
Ooh, it's so it's so bright. Imagine that really just popping that limon. What do you guys think? The purple almost disappears. Maybe I need to cut the purple out. I feel like the purple is not really super visible. If I cut the purple, it's almost like primary colors and I might get some pink and blue smooshing to become purple, although they don't really seem to be mixing much. Um, this would allow me to get a little bit more balanced with the colors probably. Do like three drops. Of each. Okay, but here's so here's a, so here's the thing. Actually, I should have left this more. Let's make myself a little note here. Um, I dig this a lot. Like there, there is a little bit of over smooshing there around the edges. Like, um. You know, it gets kind of kind of blendy and kind of blurry in there but like we got really good stuff going on in here there's some really cool shapes in here too but i think even zoomed in more you can see what i mean about the purple disappearing the thing is i feel zero easter i mean am i tripping i feel zero easter they're not light enough And I'm not, I'm not sure. I'm like, well, that's like, wasn't the fucking plan. <laughs> it was supposed to be Easter. <laughs> Back after a while. All right, Amethyst. I just noticed you can see my robe behind me instead of my backpack. It's my snowman robe. That's how you know it's not actually summer. Cause I still got my fucking snowman robe out. Cause it's warm and cozy. Feels zero. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's... And, and you guys aren't even... Let's see if I can... Uh... Look at that. Can you see that bright? Ping! It's really bright. They're looking much more neon than pastel in this combination. They're looking more neon combined together than they are separately. Their neonness increased exponentially. Yeah. I mean, I could call it East. Could I, could I get away with calling it Easter candy? I don't, I don't know if I could. Or, or what does it get called if it's not Easter? <laughs> I, do, I don't even know. I'm just like so thrown off here. Hmm. I mean, some of the Easter shit is just really, like, absurdly colored. I've done a cotton candy smushy before and not been very happy with it. And pink and blue. I wonder how that would go. Hmm, <laughs> hmm. That's really nice. It's so bright. We could use any of these colors, you guys. Hmm. Like, what if I want to go, like, even just really, like, really bright? Like, will these... stand on their own? Hold on. Yellow. Limon. 
screen. It's, oh, come on, camera. Camera hates this. It's so bright. <laughs> this camera's not even sure what to do. Oh my God. The, the yellow kind of doesn't stand on its own. Okay, what if we, what if we go? Whoa, it's fine. You, you could just stay there on the floor. <laughs> um, okay. Limon. Green. Teal. Or whatever color we decided this was. Ooh. Ooh. Again, bright. Like, bright. Bright. How would the tutorial camera handle this? Yeah, tutorial camera. <laughs> Holds it down pretty good. I I really like that one. Yeah, the beanie cam really. I mean, it's it all has to do with I don't know white balance and some other shit. Well, you you probably know, son. You know, you know more about me than cameras. All I know is that every camera is a little fucking different. But that is the reason why, even if I switched to my tutorial camera for, like, the hand cam and made this hand cam the face cam, I don't know if I'd make the face cam the beanie cam, even though it's higher quality. Like, you can see beanie just fine. I mean, this is not a bad quality camera for, I mean, it's a small, it's a small space. Um, and it's so good at doing the colors. Okay, okay, check this out. How about if we do, sorry for knocking into the camera. Yeah, basically the white balance. But also like the, feels like the contrast or something. Cause like this, the color isn't wrong. It just, this camera seems incapable of showing such a brightness. This, this one too, for that matter. But beanie cam holds it down. Okay, how about if we do like this? I know like just enough about cameras and shit to get by. And sometimes I feel like I should learn more, but like that's not the fun part to me. And I already do several unfun parts. I don't want to do another unfun part. Okay, we're going to do the light orange, the bright orange, and, and the coral. Boy, <laughs> like those uh cartoon eyeballs. Boy, oing, 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 oing. eyeballs. Yeah. Bright. I mean, I I really like both of these options, you guys. They're both, I mean, they're both like, oh my God, I just thought of something so complicated. Stop brain, brain, no, <laughs> no brain. <laughs> no, I can't. I, <laughs> oh, my brain is like, 
come on, tell him no. You you should do this. Okay, so like, like a reciprocal gradient, except with smooshies. <laughs> so like, do do like one of these, and then like put down some vinyls, and then do the other one. <laughs> it would be so insane. Oh my god. I I mean, it's. It's logical, right, son? It's logical and the most insane. I mean, I'm not doing that. I'm not. But apart the do it, do it. <laughs> no. Mm. Oh, that would work really well. Okay, hold on. Okay. Um Oh, where is the appropriate plate that has the things that I want to see? Is that the only one? I thought I had two tropical plates. Well, let's see if the image that I'm imagining is on this. Oops, come on. Tweezers, huh? Like, hmm. Like, oh, you guys can't see shit. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. <laughs> sitting here contemplating and it's like a black hole to you guys um I'm looking at that one and this one like over over this mm. or like this this one over this Wait, how long, how long are my nails right now? Wait a minute. Reality check. Self. Check, check. One, two. <laughs> like when we were doing that butterfly and I realized, oh, I'm, I'm really not getting this whole design. Like this one. Like these, this color screams like uh, plumeria or hyacinth. Or uh, what are the other ones called? I mean, I could I could fit quite a lot of that on my nail, actually. All right, time to. Oh, these are so dirty. That's why I'm having so much troubles. There we go. Oh, you guys, you guys want some peel AS ASMR? Some crinkly plastic ASMR? Okay, here we go. Okay, that was a fail. Okay, here we go. <laughs> I'm sorry, or you're welcome. Okay. Do we have... We do not. Do we... Okay. Um, what about Ooh, what about this? Wonder how ooh 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 Um Uh oh Uh oh Uh oh uh oh where is Black Knight? It's not in here. Runaway stamping polish. Are you in here? Please be in here. Uh, uh, shit. Oh, 
wait, here it is. Ha ha ha. First place I looked. I just need to look harder. Okay, that's like the second time that's happened to me recently. Well, actually, okay, it was the second place I looked, but still. Like, I, I just scan, and I think I'm such a good scanner that ain't shit gonna get past me. <laughs> then I'm like, oh, no, where is it? Then I look again, I'm like, oh, it's right here. Hmm. Hmm? Like, we have some interesting stamping options. I would like, I mean, my used stamping polish is kind of expensive. I would like some more. I don't think I want to, I don't think I want to use white. I'm, I'm rarely happy with white stamping. I'm just, I'm just not. Um, maybe, maybe purple? Actually, maybe the blue? Um, where'd you go? Yeah, that one's pretty dark. Okay. okay, we have some things to test here. Go throw food in. All right, son. I do not have to put white between the vinyls because we're not fucking around with nail vinyls. We're going to, I guess, fuck around with stamping. All right, black, of course, is black. I'm going to just do some super, super quick swatches of these for you guys. Do these not have their names on them? You done lost your label. Who are you? I do still have their boxes. Yes, I do. Meadow Green. Are you in there? You're not. Why don't you have a label, Meadow Green? If it's not in its box and it's not on its bottle, I literally have no clue where it could be. Did it, like, not ever have one? These are, like, kind of weird, small, little, goofy box. Oh, you're still open. Close this before I spill everything. It's always, like, a little... like a, It's like when you unexpectedly knock a bottle over when you unexpectedly find one that's still open. It's like, oh, shit. Oh, shit. Uh, this is Jungle Gold. Oh, it's not quite as dark as I thought it was. Hmm. I mean, it does have a little bit of... Oh. Mm. Oh. 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 Um, um... Uh, move along. Uh, Croco Spark. Yeah, that one would be good too. Like over this. And we've got Royal Up. That might could work depending on the design. Like, it's a quite dark option that's not black. Um, and then Purple Haze. Which I thought might work over this, depending on what design I used. Would It would be kind of a weird contrast. It would not be a normal choice for me. Are these dry? Alright, we're taking a chance. We're folding this page over. It might get stuck. We'll have to deal with that if it happens. Um, let's, okay, let's keep these together here. Let's keep these together here. Let's put these back over here. And let's scoot these all over here and this up here and this over and get a napkin. And get a plate and get a scraper and put the scraper out. And close the thingy. And get some acetone. <laughs> and describe every little step along the way. Mm. Yes. That is what I was thinking, son. And then I was thinking, 
Do I need to use black to achieve that? Oh, we're going to need some more Q-tips. I will be right back. Um, far, far travels to the other side of the room. Where the ooh, stock is kept. Oh, I'm hungry. Maybe I should have a little piece of beef jerky. Access turkey jerky. Mini pretzel roll bites. That sounds pretty good. Oh my gosh, this is too bad of a piece. I feel like I can't take it out of my mouth now, though. <laughs> hmm. Okay. I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna try Don't Kill My Vibe and see if it stamps. is of course not a stamping polish but you don't always have to use a stamping polish but I don't know we'll see we'll see together decent pickup you guys can't really see I'm gonna go That's kind of interesting. It's not as dark as I kind of hoped. But you do get kind of some of the duochromeness to it. So it's kind of like a green and a gold. I don't hate it. It's actually very similar to uh, the jungle gold. wonder. Let me put it next to it. Well, okay, not that similar. It stamps it's looking similar. Because it stamps looking more gold than green. Mm, that's actually good, pretty good. Is there another piece in here? That actually might have been the last piece. Other than like the crumb pieces. Yeah, fuck. You know what that means, you guys? Since there's like no turkey jerky left, it means I have to have a cookie. Darn. Whole Foods has some pretty good food. And some really good cheeses, man. Don't let me around the Whole Foods cheese counter, because why does good cheese have to be so damn expensive? Hmm. I do like this design. I feel like <clears throat> let me the notebook's so thick I think I need to no it's gold I'm trying to adjust the focus there that's that's better than it was mm. Ooh, bro I can see it not a huge fan of this little faint leaf right here that you barely can see I like this part. I feel like I could place it on my nail that direction. Like have it like at basically a 45 degree angle. Mm. 
Let's try this. Mm. Sometimes they have a lot of samples too, which is nice. Because I'd be hungry when I'm shopping. <clears throat> which I know you're like not supposed to shop when you're hungry, but guess what? It happens. Seems to always happen. I, oh. Sorry. I was off camera. Um, I like I like the purple with the orange and the and the coral. I'm not a huge fan of this design. I think this leaf just looks like a paint splatter and this leaf looks generic. Like I like this flower. But that's it. Okay, one more cookie and then we're not allowed any more cookies cuz I'm supposed to have actual dinner after stream. <laughs> Mm. Okay, so probably not this stamp unless I only use the flower. Mm. Like most, it's kind of unfortunate. Most of these are like flower and leaf combinations. I kind of wish there was, you know, I feel like I'm missing a plate or something. Who wants to use a gum? Or maybe it's not a tropical plate at all. I'm, I'm missing something here. Okay. I need to... Hmm. Like... I have, um, I have a plate wallet type of thingy. But those are kind of a hassle to look through, too. I think what would be really nice is, like, a document with, like, pictures of them and, like, some keywords attached, maybe. Like, you could just have them all, and then you could just, like, scroll so quickly through them. Or like putting a keyword. Keyword is tropical flowers. Well, maybe not tropical flowers, but you know, flowers. Hmm. And all your flowers plates would come up. If I don't find this, I swear to God. If I have lost myself a plate somewhere again, I do kind of remember having one out for something, but I don't remember what I had it out for, and I don't... Hmm. Hey, Lexi. And welcome back. I'm trying to find a stamping plate that I think I have that I'm not finding. Hmm. Is it in here? No. Is it in here? Whoa, no. Mm. The more I think of this, the more I'm positive. I have another plate of this somewhere. Let me just check this drawer one more time. No, not in there. If I, if I was a misplaced stamping plate, where would I be? Mm. Like I really, I, mm. you guys, I need to just finish organizing so bad. Hmm, Georgia. Okay, let me, okay, this this is what I'm gonna do here. 
Okay, this, this is super smart of me. <clears throat> um, okay, hold on. Gotta look here for a minute. <clears throat> um... Okay, that's that one. You guys, I might have imagined this plate. I swear, I feel like I can picture it so clearly, but either... <clears throat> either I'm crazy, or it's a different collection. Because I don't... My plan, my brilliant plan was to go look it up on the website. And see what designs were on it to determine if I want to continue digging for it or not. But I don't see it. So it's either a different collection or it's make believe. Vote now. We'll never know the answer. Unless I like stumble across it at some point. And then I'm like, hey, this is that plate that I thought didn't exist. Hey, that's a milestone, son. <laughs> Arg. Okay. Moving on. Let's just try a couple things here. Um, and I might do some stamping over this just to use it as kind of an example black or black bright background. Um, see, the thing is, like so many of these that are like more flowery than leafy, I feel like it would be kind of weird to stamp in a green. But maybe it would look okay. Let's see how this looks. And I think that, yeah, the plate's off camera now. Sorry. Um, but we're just doing pretty standard, you know, pickups and stuff. So, you know, something like this, like the flower looks weird green, but the leaves obviously look really good green. Oops, we left some leaves behind down here. I, I mean, I, and I could certainly, like, not stamp the flower portion. I could just stick with stamping the leafy portion. <clears throat> Mm, glitter. Oh. <laughs> Let's try this one. Actually, let's try this one. Scrape, stamp. I'm gonna do this one over here. Um, let's go right here. Now I think that looks kind of nice in the dark blue. It's like a duochrome dark blue. Like the flowers don't look absurd and the leaves don't look absurd. I mean, neither leaves nor flowers are usually blue. Um, what other designs do I want to test here? Or do I just want to go? I probably could test this one here. And I'm just doing like a, you know, a couple of these different designs. Sometimes things stamp a little different than they look when you're just looking at the plate. Yeah, they all kind of do. Well, this one doesn't really. If I got a good part, I'm also like up in the corner. Like ideally there'd be a super good part of the smooshy peeking through in the middle. But they do all kind of cover up the smooshy. I just feel like the smooshy could be such a cool background for something. 
Let's try this one with this one. Hmm. Another one that's quite goldy gold. I mean, maybe I I really would want to stick with something just simpler. Like, what if I just only did... Oh, we've got so much. Sticky uh, Stanford surgery removal process. I don't like you little small flowers either. Oop, I took off part of the leaf, but, you know, like just... Oh, come on. Please go on. Can you guys see? See? Please stay. Stay. Okay, that turned out horrible, but you see what I'm you see what I'm trying to what I'm trying to accomplish here. Hey C4. I don't I don't I don't I don't like how this is turning out. <laughs> Let's just go back to simply just a smooshy. I th I thought they could I thought that a little bit of like a little bit of stamping could spice it up like I'm not like I'm not hating it but I'm not like loving it as much as I thought I was going to love it like any of them It covers it up it co they all cover it up too much That's the problem The smooshy's too good to be covered up a smooshy not that a smooshy would be a bad background for any of this but that this particular smooshy, like, I just really want to see it. Okay. That's decided. So let's put this away. Well, no, we don't need to put that away. We need to put this away. Oh, I'm, I'm getting more than a threat, C4. <laughs> yeah. The, the view out my window is, I'd say we have at least two to three inches already. Um, hey, Dino. Yeah, we, I'm, I'm, I think I'm giving up on this, the stamping idea because it's just like, it's not, whoa, you're not closed. Neither are you. Okay. The stamping is not turning out how I wanted it. So we're just going to go with the smooshy. And I feel like we're going to go with the green one and we're going to call it like, like sunset. This is summer. This is spring. I mean, both would be very good color therapy for this bullshit that's going on at the moment. I mean, it's super pretty out there. Because, like, everything's sticking to the trees and shit. But, uh... I'm not a fan. Um, okay. I'm trying to just leave, like, a little bit of space in case Beanie decides to, like, wander over, but he probably won't. Yeah, all this. I think it's all like the same system. It's all just like coming through. Whoa. Okay, can you stay up there? Um, okay, so these are our colors. These will need to go away for later. I've just been keeping them in their little box because it's just kind of convenient. Um, what all else will I need? We've got our colors. We've got our sesh feet. We've got our base coat.
<laughs> Will this be the thumbnail? Or did I unintentionally create a better thumbnail earlier? I wasn't paying attention when we were playing with all the colors. Um, We've got our stamper. Can you fit in there, stamper? I kind of I kind of like it. It's like one of those uh one of those cooking things where they show you everything you'll need to cook it before you started, but it's like nail polish. <laughs> you will need one smooshy stamper, one base coat, one top coat, and at least three bright spring colors. <laughs> Some part. Did we try that at all? Okay, we'll try it. I'll I'll try it. Dad, Dad, I was always coming in here and immediately making demands. <laughs> we can we can we can check it out. It might be bomb. I mean, we were going. Okay, so the story of how this happened was we were thinking Easter, and then we did this, and I was like, that's freaking phenomenal, but it's not damn Easter. I know I, I had an idea earlier, and I had to stop myself because it was an absurd idea that I would no way do. All right, we'll do some limon. We'll do some green. Whoa. We'll do some turquoise, teal-ish color, and we'll do some purple. Those are very uneven dots. I don't hate it. And of course, again, bright, bright, um, I don't know that I like it better than just the green, the limon and the teal. I guess I guess we've determined that it's teal. It's hanging out with the greens, so it's a teal. I, I do like it, but I don't like it as... It feels like the purple takes away a little bit from the brightness, I think. Like, I mean, of course, ignore the part that's stamped here now. How can I, like, effectively block that off? Like, the purple is bright ish um but it's not as bright as the other colors the teal actually isn't either but i think it adds just enough little bit of contrast in there while still maintaining the color scheme Ooh, i bet that was pretty c4 that sounds beautiful I'm sorry, Dino. The good news is you will be seeing that purple featured in something. Like, this isn't the only manicure we're doing with this collection. Because this collection is really great to me. Like I said, I don't get in this kind of a pastel and bright colored moon very often. I'm just, I'm just way more likely to pick dark colors, generally speaking. Um... But I, I love these. We swatched it. For anybody that's just joining us. Oh, it's still fucking wet. Oh! Of course it's still wet. Why why would it not still be wet? We literally just did it. Like, I, I can only be mad at myself. <sighs> okay, let's clean this up a little bit. Cleaning this up and at the same time telling myself to rein in my enthusiasm. Because I was just dumb. Um, we did swatches before we got started with these smooshy testers. Smooshy testers. <laughs> Ooh. Um, I'm trying. I'm trying not to touch the the page that I just you know I know for a fact is wet. We did the whole whatever forever collection, and we did the whole oil slick collection, also over black in an attempt to show some amount of duochrome on camera, which was minorly to moderately successful. Maybe minorly, <laughs> if, if that's a word. And again, being camped to the rescue, they're bright. 
Like they're pastel, but they're neon. It seem it seems like a oxymoron, but it's not. They're they're very pretty, and I want to do more with them. Was was the moral of that story? Mm. Um, the two really washed out ones, son. Um. Where'd, where'd my swatches go? Come back here, swatches. I can make sure I'm pointing out. Because a couple of them do look a little bit different. No, where's the... There's you. There you are. Um. Yeah, totally worth it. The the pink meh is totally worth it. it it's not totally worth it. It's not a bad color. Um... What the hell? Oh, here it is. And the blue meh is get lost. Oh no, I touched the page. Okay, it's fine. Whoa. Okay, whoa. Yeah, I almost just pulled my whole miracle mat off my desk. <clears throat> no big. No big. <laughs> Wait, what did I say? I don't even... Oh, the test. Oh, the test is... I didn't I didn't say testies. I mean I've said testy before. Like testy. Not plural testies. I mean some of course some people only have one testy. And it makes them kind of testy. <laughs> I don't know, maybe they're fine with it. Maybe they're not testy at all. Okay, let me just stop. <laughs> okay. Um let me find you guys some lovely lovely music because I'm going to take a lovely lovely potty break lovely lovely is is that from something I don't know where I'm getting this this voice that happens too often like I know too many like references to stuff that like I've never even seen um and get the BRB up here too um oh and get our pretty colors for you to look at while I'm gone yeah, when I get back, we're going to be smooshing with these. They're so much brighter over here. The, the, this is a much closer to color accurate color on the beanie cam over here than what this webcam is showing. So. <laughs> sorry. Sorry, not sorry, C4. Um... We're, we're going to do a smooshie when we get back. Oh, we'll need a... Uh, you? Is this you? Yeah, it is. Whoa. You're kind of separate -y. Why are you like that? Can you guys... Like, it's in the side of the bottle. It's really hard. My latex is doing weird things. No! What's happening? Did I leave you in the light too long? I should have put you back in your safe, dark spot. It just looks kind of separate -y. I hope this works okay for us. Um, maybe I'll just like mix it around a little bit. Should I top it up? <gasps> what do I do? Okay, <clears throat> it'll be fine. Oh, the hydrangea nails. I'll have to look them look them up after stream, or maybe after break if I can't if I can't control myself. It looks better now. I like rolled it around a little bit like as though it was nail polish. It's not boogery. Like it's not. It's still really smooth. Like there's no, there's no boogers when I, you know, go all up in there. I, I do need to, I'm, I don't, I, sh I should not be leaving it just on my desk though. Because I do have a, a wide variety of weird lights, like shining, and latex is just weird. It's supposed to go, like, back over here, where it's, like, a little bit more in shadow. Um, or it may just have been because it was laying on its side and just looked weird because it just decided to look... I, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Next time. No. <laughs> we'll see in about ten minutes or so. Well, no, my break will probably be five minutes, so we'll see in about 15 minutes whether or not it's gnarly. 
But before that, I'm going to take a potty break. If you need your own potty break, snack break, drink break, now is the time. Thank you for your patience. And while I'm gone, I'm going to listen to the wonderful Unwritten Return.
The mute button is so sensitive. I understand why people remap it to their keyboard. But I'm afraid I would just accidentally be pressing it all the time. <laughs> mm, the ones your your uh, little short round got you, Amethyst? Those are freaking cool. Or do you have more sparkly shoes? I just, speaking of sparkly things, I had a thought. Um, what does that, oh, that is what I want. It's, it's on the bottom, of course. Um, oh, I am back. I suppose I could take this off. Um, I'm just, I'm reading, I'm reading labels here. Reading is hard when the letters are small. There we go. You. And you. Are what I was looking for. <clears throat> so. Is Dino still here? Dino, I hope you're still here. Paging Dino. Like, I guess we'll use this messed up one for the test. So here we have, oh, look at that. It's, it's trying to show you it's hollow. Here we have, oh, I need a tool. Hey, and we are just about to start the manicure. We've done some smooshy testing. We did some swatches. These swatches were quite satisfying. I mean, they're just notebook swatches, but those are pretty good. The whole whatever forever in the whole neon collection. And now I'm considering, like when I was going to do it Easter, I was thinking, of, you know, creams, obviously, but like since it's no longer for Easter, maybe we ought to add a little hollow. Shoom! Dino pops up out of nowhere. No. <laughs> we have uh, Diamond. <laughs> and uh, Diamond Flake. So. I mean, you can see, you can see the texture difference. You could almost, oh, it's struggling. There there you could see it on the textured one, the flaky one. The hollow. The hollow won't be held down by the ring light or the limitations of no camera. The rainbow will shine through. What does Beanie's camera think of them? Oh, it's not light enough over here to really show the hollow. Um. <laughs> so, like... They're, they're both considered toppers. So regular diamond. Like I said, we're going to use the messed up one here just to gauge gauge the density and whatnot. And of course, you got to be like mindful with hollow toppers. Yeah, that's a real fine one. You're still going to be able to see everything that's going on there, except it's going to be hollow. It's so fine, the camera's not even wanting to pick it up. Pretty sure it will be able to see this though. Oh, oh yeah, actually though. Of course, 
will I get any sun in the next few days to take some real good pictures of these with this little damp snow? Oh, that's much like camera you suck it just looks dirty each of those little speckles is hollow I mean that's obviously a lot chunkier I wish I could get it where's my where's my flashlight on my phone can you help me out phone no, we are not sponging it, Dino. You wouldn't be able to see any of this smooshy. A voicemail? Who left me a voicemail? What the fuck? Mm. Where, where is this supposed voicemail? That You know what? I don't think I care about you. I can't even dismiss it. Okay. I just, I want to see for myself. Like, I mean, I've seen these in sun before when I first got them and I can still see. Can I get a little bit on this? Yeah, look at the sides here. I mean, obviously, like I said, the chunky one is cooperating more with the camera. Oh, there we go. You can, you can see the hollow if I get the light to play just right. Okay, let's, uh. Oh, camera doesn't like it. In person, I am actually able to see the hollow with this. On this, this side. Ooh. Look at, look at that purple one that was so dark it was not cooperating. You seeing it shift from maroon to blue to back to purple? This flashlight's almost like too much. It's like, shinyum, it's like a laser, but. Helping out a little bit with these, these super stubborn duochrome swatches. Nice getting the light from it there. Okay, sorry. That, that went on for far too long, didn't it? <laughs> okay, so that did answer my question, and I think we want to go. If I do go... Let me try it over, just the actual one. I mean, I'd want to keep it thin, consistent... You have to be careful like you don't want to over swipe because sometimes it can like leave streaks in the hollow this one the formula is kind of really forgiving and allows you to kind of even it out but like even though it's not showing on camera let's show up a little bit more here I, like i've got so much of it covered up with stamps too i feel like it's dulling the neon I'm I'm torn. I I know you you'd be so sad if I like taunted you and pulled back at this point, wouldn't you, Dino? But I'm kind of tempted to, cause like it it kills the it kills some of the neon. Chicken parm. Who's that? Oh, C four is having chicken parm. Hey, Demetria. So you guys like the purple with the green. We're not, we're not doing the purple with mixed with the greens. We're just doing these three. The, the, the debate, the internal debate I'm having is whether or not to, to skip the hollow top coat or not. And then there are also, of course, like more complicated ideas going through my mind. Like, ooh, make a design that's like in hollow. Get out the nail vinyls. Make things complicated. <laughs> yeah, the per th this looks more like the Easter combination, actually, than this one did. 
we're really close here. We don't really need to be for this. Um, it's still really bright though. We'll we'll see. Or you well, all. Mm, No, I was just using it to test swatch the hollow top coats between these two. I mean, you can kind of see why. Like this one, um, oh, and there's little flashes of the hollow again when I get it at just the right angle. Like it looks like just a, like a hollow polish in the bottle. You almost would not guess that this was a topper, except like it actually literally is in the name that you, you can't see um that it is a topper but like the hollow particles are tiny but dense like they are dense enough that they do shift the color just a little bit well i'm gonna think about that for a minute um i'm gonna need to get out some more acetone here let's at least start moving toward manicure land i have i haven't decided for sure no yet dino i'm so sorry I giveth and then I taketh away. And now I probably should zoom in again for you guys. <clears throat> Breaking Dino's hollow heart. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe I'll, I don't know. I'm, I'm super indecisive. As, as you've seen over the course of this stream... This nail, too, this is the one with the stress point. I can see it right there. It's got a hair caught in it. I might need to file that just a little bit. Buff it, rather. Just to make sure that it's, like, super smooth. And really, again, be mindful to wrap those edges. I would... I mean, you can't rush something like that growing out, but I will be glad once that is gone and I do not have to worry about it anymore because I'm just super worried about it turning into an actual... <laughs> into a, into an actual break. <clears throat> I do love hollow. I do. I know it seems like I don't love hollow, but... I can't decide if it adds more than it detracts. Because, like, it detracts neon, but it adds hollow. And, I mean, on a baseline, I would say that hollow is superior to neon. Generally speaking. Generally speaking. Oh, and we still got some left over there from when I stuck my hand just completely in polish. Um... can't quite see the hair that's stuck there but right there is my my little problem area super super light buffing just like literally so that it's not catchy like I don't want it I mean, it got through taking out my braids. That was like a a hurdle. So I would really be pissed off to break it. Now, you ever do that? Like, you're so careful with something. You're like, oh, this is dangerous for my nails. I got to be so careful. And you get through that. And then you break your nail on something stupid because you then were not paying attention. <clears throat> I haven't painted yet. Do you know what you're going to do yet, C4? Something Eastery, maybe? I mean, that's where this started. It kind of didn't end there, but. Bye-bye, mm -hmm. T. Bye-bye, T. Man, there's going to be some broken branches out here tonight. I bet there's going to be some people that lose power. Because, uh, like, everything is just so heavy and weighed down. The snow is sticking to everything. Excuse me. Okay napkin 
Yeah, I mean, I was too. And then, I don't know. This is still, I think I'm going to go with like bright spring greens or something. Because bright spring green smooshy. Bright spring green hollow smooshy. I almost wish, you know, I wish, I wish Color Club would come out with some neon hollows. Just toss something like that up in here. That'd be great. Color Club has a lot of sales, son. I will say that much. Um, like when I was particularly waiting to order these two collections, I went ahead and turned on post notifications for their Instagram channel. And that's how I saw that BOGO like right away. I, I would say if you think what you would get, if like if there's not a choice... I mean, if you, you could try, at, you know, just like send off a quick email to their customer service and ask them be like you know is is there a way because sometimes there's like a note section or something maybe you know, like instructions for your order like maybe you could request one of the sets over the other for preference if that is something that would be taken into consideration um otherwise i'd say wait like they literally i i have the feeling now that I've been like paying attention to them recently with these collections, it's like Kohl's. You better not shop there without a coupon. <laughs> you know, it's like they just always are having something on sale. And it's, I mean, it's not always what you want. Like the last one was just like spring colors, you know, restrictions apply. I don't know what they were considering spring. Um, but it seems like they have really good deals quite frequently also, like the BOGO that I got. Yeah, I, I'd say just wait. So also, anybody, including me, that's been looking at Zoya's, it's Earth Day sale until the end of the month. You have plenty of time. Well, it's the 10th already, so you still have a good amount of time. You still have plenty of time, but not as much time as you had, like, yesterday or the day before. It's very philosophical of me, I know. Um... But the Earth Day sale, you, you're not required to send your polish back in. Like, that's the spirit of the deal. I've never done it. I'll confess. Like, I don't want to get rid of my polish. I don't care if it's full of chemicals. I wish I could call up Zoe and be like, you know all these polishes people are sending to you? Send them to me. <laughs> mm. Um. So, yeah, you don't have to. And basically, it's 50% off. Free shipping is usually a reasonable threshold. Well, my reasonable threshold may not be your reasonable threshold. Free shipping may actually be included in the Earth Day sale now that I think about it. And I need to kind of... Another thing I need to get my crap together. I know I was looking at like four colors from the holiday collection. And now would be the time for that. Yeah, so the Earth Day sale started out with... One of the things about Zoya is they are like... They, they started out being, you know, like three free, then it's four free, five free, eight free. I think they're now like 11 free or something. Don't quote me. Um, and the Earth Day sale was intended to be like, your old polishes are full of chemicals. Send them to us and we'll properly recycle them. And in return for being green, you also get a discount on our polishes and you can refill your collection with healthier polishes. And it was, you know, an Earth Day special. And, like, I think the first year it was literally only on Earth Day. And like I've mentioned before, it seems like every year it gets a little bit bigger. This year it's the entire month of April. And, uh, yeah, it's a, you know, it's a deep 50% off discount. And if you're, if you're looking, Zoya's another one. I won't buy Zoya when it's not on some kind of sale. Um, they have a lot of sales that equate up to 50% off, stuff like that, so... I, th I think most nail polish companies know that people are waiting for a sale, especially because there's so many other retailers out there that have, like, discounts and stuff. <clears throat> Enjoy your dinner, LJ. <laughs> 
Yeah. Well, at least, what is it? The Color Club uh, watercolor ones, which are a water-based formula, and they freaking peel off your nails. They're made of such... Who knows what the hell? Mm. Oh, yeah. that The Polish Con. That's That's got to have been so fun. I mean, I'm assuming you had an excellent time, Anne. I think you've said already several times that you have, but... Like, that just seems like such a cool thing. Yeah, these pastel neons, they also, like I said, they're very similar to the previous ones, but they, like, I need more bright colors in my collection. So, <clears throat> okay. We are going to get going here. We're going to get started on our base coat. As soon as we get to an appropriate level of zoom here. <clears throat> Hmm. What is that? Is it a hangnail or is it just a little weird spot? It's just a little weird spot. When your nails are dry, it will absolutely point out all your little weird spots. But dryness helps with the base coat adhesion, particularly when you're using a peel off base coat as I do. <laughs> Welcome back, Sakrista. We are just getting started. <clears throat> Starting off with clean dry nails, we're going to begin with a base coat. I'm using Ready for Takeoff, which is a peel off base, and you can use whichever is your personal favorite. And a reminder to self confirm whether or not you have a spare bottle of Ready for Takeoff because. My two combined empty bottles are still only like a two-thirds full bottle. Of course, I could switch to regular base coat. God, you guys, it, was, it honestly was so nice wearing a manicure with regular base coats. <laughs> the The seven color sets usually are somewhat of a deal well any of the sets like I was looking I was like I was kind of hoping they would have like the two two six sets of either of these the whatever forever or the oil slicks but they didn't yet because a lot of times the okay you see this chunk here <laughs> the fuck um yeah don't want that on my nail ew Ow. Oh my god, it's all chunky. Weird. Um. And actually, if I recall, the. I think when I got the original Poptastic Pastel Neons, I got them on Amazon. Um, there's a set that has the Poptastic Pastel re Neons and the Remix ones, which are the glitter glow and the dark ones. And I want to say it's like 50 bucks. And they're both seven, seven colored collections. So it's like 14 polishes. So that's like, I don't know, less than $5 a bottle. Which is still more than I would like to pay, but not unreasonable, I guess. I mean, like, I really like it when I get polished for 2 or $3 bottle. But that's not always life. Life is expensive. All right. Yeah, it was such a luxury with the, with the regular base coat. I really, I'm really going to pay attention to, like, how this feels on my nails because... I, I love the peelies. I do. But like that secure feeling of like not worrying about losing a peely. That was. Uh, that was a simple little pleasure. NYC September 2019, Vegas April 2020, and Boston September 2020. We have no tea, so I guess we're going to drink water like plebs. No, water's good for you.
Yeah, and then too, what I learned when you shop on the Color Club website, you earn rewards points. Now I got like a bunch of rewards points that I need to spend. That's, I think that's a huge part of it. All these cons. Because the hotels know that it's a con and they jack up all their prices accordingly. Give this just another minute or so to dry. Oh, we got to pick a base color, huh? <laughs> Probably the brightest. I mean, we could do white, but I don't think that's really necessary. Because these are nice and opaque. Excuse me. See, that is a good mug. That's like this mug I have now can pull off that kind of stuff. If my tea lasts that long. I'm gonna cross my fingers for you done. I've never had a kidney stone, but they just sound like. I, re I really love this color theme we have going on in chat right now, too. I mean, we literally had it's it's almost exactly what we had in this cotton candy test. <laughs> Blue like periwinkle blue and purple and pink <laughs> oh wait a minute in the on-screen window Anne's is green on my other chat window that i'm that i actually look at Anne's name is blue what color is Anne for the rest of you guys i'm confused i'm confuzzled non non-standard conforming names hmm Oh, we've got for oh we've got like several beanie furs here. What did I touch? Oh, there. Yeah, I think we'll use the lightest as the base color. This is really where I should decide if I'm adding hollow. You you know what? This, this makes so much sense. I should have just thought of it earlier. Am I going to get sun to actually enjoy the hollow with? If there's sun in the next couple days forecast, we've got hollow. If there's no sun, we're not. We're skipping the hollow. How soon is the storm going to clear out? Winter storm, Wesley. Hmm. Where's my next few? Oh no. No, that does not look like a good time to wear hollow. Nope. Sorry, Dino. The weather's conspired against you. <laughs> oh. A broken thumbnail. Well, you can you can fix up the broken thumbnail while you hang out, doubtful. I'm doing all right. How are you? Anne is yellow for you, C4. <clears throat> yeah. I mean, I know it's a thing, but I just, like, I forget that it's a thing until that I see that it's a thing. Yeah. <laughs> for real. Freaking climate change. You're making it hard for me to wear my hollow. <laughs> mm. So I'm po post a picture in Discord for for Dino. <laughs> oh. Well, you are, in fact, just in time, Doubtful. We just did the base coat. We did some testing. I, I really like all this testing that we did. Like, this, this is not going away. This will have its day. Maybe not as a smooshy, but those colors are coming back. Those two oranges and this coral. Like, they're just too bright and awesome and we swatched out these colors because we're gonna be we're gonna do like several manicures playing with these and they're just so like bright and nice the oil slicks are a little bit more frustrating as far as the swatching department but these are really satisfying to me you might even say strangely satisfying or maybe not. Maybe you're not down with all that strange and satisfying shit. I haven't found... Like, everybody, though, you might not agree with other people on what's strangely satisfying, but I think everybody has something that, like, they find strangely satisfying. <clears throat> Wait a minute. You have a chipped manicure and you're getting mad at me for not using hollow? 
<laughs> okay. Yeah, I think we're going to go with, with the limon. I mean, it looks yellow in this combination, but as we showed earlier, we have an actual yellow and it's not. <laughs> well, just patch it up with some hollow. Just dab, dab, dab it in there till it's fab. Is that the, is that the Simply Nail Logical line? Oh, I love magnetic polish, Anne. Comet Cloud? Oh, Cosmic Cloud. I, kn I know the one you mean, the rose goldy one. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's the name, though. All right. <clears throat> the colors that I'm going to be using from this smooshy are Pastel Neons from the Color Club Whatever Forever collection. This kind of teal turquoise is I'm Out of Here. The bright green is It's All in the Attitude. And this kind of limon color, it's a little bit between green and yellow, is Anything But Basic. I'll be using Anything But Basic as my base color, and then I'll be protecting around my nails with liquid latex. Just liquid latex, not tape, because we're not water marbling. All right. Be good. I have faith in you. It has a base color. <laughs> I mean, look at that coverage, y'all. I saw some people say they were not a fan of the formulas on these. And a couple of them, I mean, we did discover had some jaggedy formulas. But for the most part... Like if I was really trying to mess around, I could I could make this one coat. You know, I mean, I probably wouldn't. Two thin coats is almost always better than one thick coat. I'm going I'm going a little thicker than I would if I was just doing this as a manicure just out of pure laziness and not wanting to do a second coat since it's only the base color. But it's it's not completely like glommed on. Just like moderately glommed. <laughs> Oops, that's not, well, you guys could see it. The tutorial camera could not, but I probably will. I'll probably cut it before we get there anyway. Wow, it's so bright. Oh, now even this camera's having trouble with it on my fingers. Hmm. Super hard to capture accurately. <clears throat> I, I really love, I have several rose gold nail polishes that I like really, really love. It makes such a beautiful polish color for me. Is that a hair? That's a hair. I can maybe just get it with this. There. All better. I feel like these are so opaque that possibly I even could have gotten away with skipping a base color. But that would really, really be risky because you don't have a lot of control over like uh, the thickness of the smooshy or the opacity. And if you have a spot that you miss, then you would have naked nail instead of base color. Mm. Oh, is that, is it what, it's the Frankened one. I remember seeing a picture that, I think it must have been in the bottle though, with the other ones. Oh. 
All right. And I'll have to, I don't know. My nails are grown out enough. Um, I'm debating, like, do I want to do one or two nails per smoosh? Oh, there's a hair in there. See it? Get off of there. There we go. Okay, that ended up looking weird. This this nail is also kind of a little weird because I broke the corner off and I just filed it. It's my gaming thumb anyway. I can't keep it very long. It's not a tumor. <laughs> um, YouTube. Um, there there were a couple really good. I mean, there's I mean, there's tons of everything, of course, on on YouTube. If but if you search like how to wrap a headscarf or even just like how to tie a scarf, there are a lot of, lot of ones where it'll be like you know, ten different ways to tie it in you know in one video. Um. The one that I most normally do is just like this one, which is also really easy. You kind of just like get a feel for it. The one thing I definitely, my, my tip, if I were to give any tip, is like scarves with a little bit more stretch are a lot easier to tie on and like fit to your obviously round head than scarves that are like um, more of like an acrylic-y fabric or like don't have any stretch to them. Because it's like, it, it's very similar, Amethyst, the one that I do. Like, I basically put it around the back, and, like, the width of the scarf makes a difference, too. Like, if you have one that's, like, kind of shorter, you might end up with, like, a gap on the top of your head. This one actually comes up, like, almost the whole way, and then I do kind of a towel wrap. I put it on very slightly uneven, so that, like, when I get both the ends in the front and I twist them up, when I get to the end of the twist... Um, like it's not double at the very end, which makes it easier to tuck in the, uh, the, the end up here. Um, but yeah, there's, there's a ton. I'm trying to think, um, I think one of the YouTubers I watched is called, uh, Katana XO. Um, but yeah, if you, if you search by that, there, I mean, there's so many out there and there's like a lot of like more complicated ways and of course, if you like have hairpins or bobby pins or safety pins, uh, it can be easier. But like this one, this is a really stretchy scarf. So it, like you can see, I mean, my head's pretty, I have a big head, I feel like. Um, but it stays on there snugly without like being so tight that it like cuts my ears off. Um, and it's fairly comfortable. I mean, it's not, I don't usually just like wear it around if I'm not like going out or, uh, going to stream. I'll just sit around in my, uh my sleep cap or just with my just with my twists just out but yeah I hope everything goes smoothly even, even if it's not a tumor I mean any kind of procedure is always just like I don't know I realized recently that like you you recall going through things as a kid and then like going through similar things as an, as an adult and having much better idea of like what's actually going on and like worrying a lot more then, like, you know, when you were a kid and you heard somebody had surgery and it was just like, oh, okay, you know, <laughs> do you have a scar I can see? And, I, like, as an adult and you hear surgery and it's like, even if it's something, you know, routine or minor, like, it, it's surgery. It's not minor. Yeah, and the, the length of the star scarf matters, too. Well, I'm on my not really real tips because I'm not, like, a pro. But, like, if you get one that's too, too long or too thick like if you're going for like this then all of a sudden your little flower twist is like honking thick and chonky <laughs> which i mean maybe you want a honking thick and chonky twisted thing on your head but also heavy also i'm still working on it i try to make mine like like more around itself than to get taller like it's kind of hard to see but like in my car like, if it's sticking out too far and, like, I go to look, like, it'll into, the, like, the 
the window of my car. <laughs> so, you know, I mean, I have that problem with my hair too. If I like have it in like a puff and like I get in the car and then it's like, <laughs> um, yeah. So, if it, what is he barking at? I think he just keeps hearing weird things outside because of the weather. Mm. Yeah, and, and once you uh, learn, like, a couple techniques too doubtful, I mean, you'll just start, like, putting it on there and twisting it and tucking it and be like, is it moving? It's staying. I'm good. Like, you'll come up with your own, you know, your own technique or your own kind of favorite go-to. Or little hats, too. I was just talking earlier in the stream, actually, about how my procrastination from all the shit that I should be doing lately... Like literally like the past two days has been uh, looking at different needle sets because I'm considering knitting myself some little cute slouchy beanies as an alternative to the head wrap. So if you can find like what, what the problem I had is that, like I said, my head is big, so I couldn't find very many that like fit slouchy like I really want them to fit. Or you find them and they're like made out of like winter hat material, which is hot. Or you just find one and it's just ugly. So I was like, well... I don't know how to knit. Maybe I could just like knit myself a cute slouchy hat. And then I just, I, I went down this YouTube hole of watching knitting videos. And I went down this Amazon hole of looking at, you know, circular knitting needle sets because I have, I have three pairs of circular knitting needles, but none of them are the right gauge. And they all are a little bit longer of a cord than I really need for doing beanies. It's absurd, but I, it's like still, it's in the back of my mind right now. I'm like, it would be really cool. Like, I could just knit whatever kind of cool looking beanie I wanted. Hated it. Yeah. Men on film. <laughs> With the little, little, I need to wear it at an angle. The little small hat. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I love living color. <clears throat> Insisted sebum. Oh, yeah. Or, I mean, wigs. They make some bomb ass wigs nowadays, like for real. Or um, if you don't just want like a regular one, like a lot of hairstylists even will, you know, help you out or cater to like more personalized wigs that are sized specifically measured for your head. Lots and lots of options. Doubtful. Um, okay. Okay. This this was looking weird and separated before. It's gone back to its normal creamy consistency. We do not have anything weird going on inside. You can see, well there, what is that? No, it's fine. There's not, there's not boogers or goobers. So I'm hoping it applies normally. Yeah, fire, fire marshal bill. I used to do an impression of my mom when I ate it so much. She'd be like, stop it. Your face will freeze that way. I saw a thing on him one time. Maybe it was his uh, inside the actor studio thing, which which gave me one of my favorite quotes, which is by him, which is, let's see, I have quotes here. Where is, so I get it right. Yeah, he was talking about visualization. He was talking about how like he wrote himself a check for a million dollars and like post dated it 10 years in the future. And he said... You can't just visualize it and then go eat a sandwich. Like you, you can visualize it and that's a huge part of it, but then you gotta like work toward your vision. You can't just be like, well, I visualized it. Everything's gonna be good. Um, but that was very interesting. And he talked also about how when he was doing Fire Marshal Bill, he could only do it for like 10, 15 minutes at a take because it was so hard to maintain that. <laughs> so I got go, that neck, that Fire Marshal Bill neck. And how many clown? Three snaps in a Z formation. Was that a Z? Was that a Z for y'all? <laughs> Wait a minute. Was it a Z? No, it's not. Yes, it is. I don't know. Never, never mind. Don't mind the streamer that doesn't know what a Z is. Yeah, and exactly, Duff. I mean, like, that kind of, it was just like, you know, makes a shitload of sense. <laughs> mm. 
Mm, okay, we're gonna do latex. We already talked about how we're gonna do latex, so we can just sneak in the nondescript unlabeled bottle. I'm I'm actually, you guys, really looking forward to whenever I need to refill it so that I can use my syringes. Because the first time was such a clusterfuck. Now let's let's be mindful of these upper corners. That's where I have problems sometimes. It's like these like I'll go like that. And then there's like this part that's left uncovered. So I'm trying to be mindful of that. We don't have to be, of course, as thorough as water marbling. A lot of times I almost think that, hey, I could get away without using latex for this technique. Um, and then shortly after that, I'm usually like, yeah, no, that'd be horrible. Because just when you think it's not that messy, you misstamp somehow weird and it's super, super messy again. Yeah, this little oops that got on the nail um just do like that did that get it it was like right on that corner there oh well we'll, we'll hope that's okay make sure i'm still on camera for you guys and for the tutorial people And we're not using tape because we're not, um, like it's not as much of a worry as like fingers sticking together as with water marble, which is the main reason that I use the tape on the sides when I'm doing that. And I think I'll just do the one hand and then we'll smooshy this hand. Might even clean up in top coat before moving on to my right hand. Oops. <clears throat> Caters, hello. <laughs> Who doesn't need cheese? Cheese is the bestest, you guys. I did not have nachos on Saturday. I'm thinking about having nachos tonight. I don't know why I felt the need to whisper that real close to the to the microphone, but super exciting highlight day in my life. <laughs> if you switch the lotions, uh, Beanie and Clark both seem to dig stuff with cocoa butter or coconut oil in it. <laughs> anatomic cheese moon cheese moon cheese nails oh my god you guys we could do it we could get out the the black acrylic paint and draw some little moon holes in it like swiss cheese we're not we're doing the smooshy but we could <laughs> the thing is dino it's not okay so this where's the actual yellow let me show you guys This is what we're using. I'm calling it Limon because this is the actual yellow. You see that green tinge to it now? I mean, they're, they're similar, especially on this camera. How about over here? Yeah, greenish, the top one, actual yellow on the bottom. So it's quite close to yellow, but it's got that little green tinge to it. <clears throat> Every day is a good day for nachos. But I know that, like, my body would probably disagree. <laughs> like, probably every day is not a good day for nachos. So, uh, best ASMR moment ever. But you weren't here earlier, Doubtful, when I when I ASMR'd this wrapping off the stamping plate, it was like a... Well, I don't know if that was real 
But then we also got some crink crinkle ASMR for you. <laughs> um, probably. Could I make that work in here? I have a black light. I'm just thinking I'd need to like turn off all my lights and actually get it dark in here to show you guys. Because like what I do, we've got the ring light here. We've got, you see this? We've got this light here, which is creating some like upper. That That's why my lighting appears to be so good in here. Like if I turn this off, look at. Now I'm like in a cave. We turn these two desk lamps on and everything gets just gets a little bit lighter. Um, when, I, when I first started streaming, I literally, literally just turned on every light I have. I was like, it's fine. Um, but what I do is I take out one of these and put the black light in there. So it's not like I have a separate one. Um, but I, I, I would say they probably do. The originals do. Um, maybe I'll try and do a test off, off camera. Cause like I said, it's hard to show unless I actually literally get it fully dark in here and it's actually not even fully dark outside yet. So that would be additionally hard. Although it's getting there pretty quickly. It's all cloudy and it's snowy and it's twilighty. It is what I think would be referred to as the gloaming or the witching hour or something like that. <clears throat> oh yeah, I'm pretty sure. You know what? Okay, let's write let's write me a note. Let's write me a gigantic note on the back of this failed printout cuz I've also been procrastinating putting ink in my printer, even though I need to print out my new vehicle insurance cards by the 14th. Um, wow. Through like the, the, the paper towel is so cushy that I can like just poke holes through here. Is that good ASMR to you guys? <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. Let me stop. Black light picks. <laughs> Five points for gloaming. I love that word. 85 in Texas. Were you here when I was showing you what it's doing here? Let me, let me, let me pull up my nice picture again. This was taken, I don't know. What you guys like one or two hours ago it's getting harder to see out there the neighbor stairs are almost completely disappeared come on here try not to get the ring light reflection but yeah this is out my window it was it was 70 here on monday and and now it's this so yeah, that's why we need bright colors in our life. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> All right, we're gonna get to, whoa, whoa. We knocked over a bottle, but it's fine. We got our, we got our stamper here. Is it clean? No, it's not. Whoa. Okay, that was stuck to this because this is sticky. Okay. This is a little like weird. No, you're still good. I really, I'm, I'm surprised I've only irreparably damaged one stamper head. As many accidents as this stamper goes through, it's still like really hanging in there in a good smooth condition. Because like even minor a marring of the surface will impact the stamping ability. Smooshies probably would be fine, but you know. And can we take a moment just as usual to admire the pearlescent latex in all its beautiful shininess. I'm really, this color is just, it looks so washed out on here. Just a reminder. Hi, it's neon. More neon than that. It's, it's as bright as this green yeah that's pretty accurate it's a limon as bright as that green oh you haven't seen this okay so this 
is a stamper doubtful and usually it's used with well, where did I put them oh they're all over here stamping plates such as thusly this one's all dirty and you like put polish on then you scrape it and you stamp it and then you put it on your nails we're just going to use it for smooshying so <clears throat> Non see it's but the non junky side see one side's domed one side's flat I have used the flat side for uh, stamping up a water marble successfully but for stamping the rounded side seems to work better <clears throat> oh yeah doubtful you stick around we even if you do check out the the VOD we did a little bit of stamping earlier because I was thinking that this would be cool to stamp over so like these these images you see here, these are all like stamped images. I don't know where I sat that image plate actually because you would, oh, there it is. So you can get like some really good detail and stuff and we I've got, not all polishes work as a stamping polish, but I need to do more stamping because I have a lot of plates and I don't use them often enough. So eventually we will, we will have some actual stamping, but this is another multi-purpose use for the stamper. <clears throat> and I think I'm just gonna go yeah I'm just gonna do one nail per smoosh because I really don't want to like I don't want to get too mixy I want it to stay like uh when we were testing with these like up here that's over smooshed I want more like this kind of a pattern like the central pattern here than like at the edges where it's getting really messy and same with this one although you know some of it's stamped over I want more like this pattern than like edgier patterns so since I don't want to do too much mixing on these and since I've seen that they do mix pretty easily like every polish is going to be a little bit different when you smoosh it and how they react together is going to be different <clears throat> um so in this case sometimes I do do two at a time I think we did we do a smooshy for Christmas I kind of feel like we did and I feel like we did two nails at a time but it's just a judgment call that you got to make <clears throat> no way not me not me doubtful I mean I I can I can do a little I can do more than I used to be able to do hand painting is still such an insecure crazy stamping is so much easier than hand painting <clears throat> you're also having nachos for dinner so Krista I approve I'm, I'm pretty sure that's what I'm gonna have all right now I do have my tweezers ready I've got an orange stick ready and let's get a little bit of acetone ready, even though I probably won't need it until we get to the cleanup after the smooshing. Thing with smooshing is that it's very like you're you're using an abundance of polish so that it kind of flows together. It'll also flow right into your cuticles, so it can get messy even with the latex. So I'll be cleaning it. Well, you'll you'll see. How about I just do it? How about how about that? <laughs> All plates were emptied. Hell yeah. Burgers are delicious. Like basic, but like basically delicious. <clears throat> For this smooshie, I'm going to be using my Moyu London Crystal Clear Stamper. And I'm going to be applying about three drops of each color and then smooshing it onto my nail. These could maybe have been separated a bit more, but it's no biggie. And then we just smoosh, smoosh, smoosh. And if you see a spot that you like don't like, then you just smoosh again. Mm -hmm. I feel like we did not get much blue in this one. Just to get those cuticles like that. 
and then we're gonna peel so where is our edge oh come on there we go come on come on come on come on all right still messy still flooding and there are various techniques to avoid this maybe i should be we're saying listen to tutorial voice but i'm basically just telling you guys just got to do what works for you like as you play with it like the design will change all right so we want to clean off our thingy Ooh, it actually worked nice i'm gonna try and keep them a little bit farther apart this time whoa that was a big drop let's actually I don't know how that's gonna work that just seems wrong that drop was too big god I'm having horrible control with these drops you guys but guess what doesn't matter oh that one's much nicer get this corner that was missed You know what oh, I like want to mess with it I'm not gonna mess with it I'm not gonna mess with it like here see this one is less mixed than the pinky and I like it better because there's more actual like designs in there come on here come on here latex So you see what I kind of mean about it almost seeming like you could skip latex because sometimes the latex isn't very dirty and it doesn't prevent all this uh, like cuticle attention that needs to be paid. I like that one a lot. And I've got the... Uh, lint roller off to the side for cleanup okay let's try not to have ginormous drops this time that was pretty big <laughs> whoa that was huge fucking a i'm i'm guys i'm sorry <laughs> i'm being such a messy blah messy uh smoosher today i mean it's a smoosh so it doesn't quote unquote matter but man man i feel like that one i should have done in slow motion because i could see myself change the little pattern as i pulled it up Let's see if i can just if i pull from down here are you gonna like try to stick on my design there, just do like that. Oh, that was slick. And this, like, it's nearly impossible to avoid it somewhat flooding your cuticles. Man, that pinky really did not get much blue, did it? Um, if, if you use darker colors in your smooshy, it could end up to be a lot more of a problem. Because, of course, darker colors are way more of a pain in the butt to clean up. But, I don't know. Smooshies are pretty fun. It's worth it. Whoa, another big drop incoming. weird weird I want more blue where's a little bit sometimes you can see what's left on your stamper and try to like aim it for spots that you feel like are missing a little bit of a certain color 
and sometimes it's out of your control. This is why having such inconsistent um, drop my tweezers, such inconsistent drops on the stamper head is a little bit of a problem. Like it's not a huge problem because it's a smooshy, but I think you guys can all tell like that the pointer and the pinky don't have as much like of the turquoisey teal as like the ring finger and the middle finger. So that is a little bit frustrating. The purple. <laughs> no, let's see. Okay, I'm gonna try to do this like super even. Super nice drops. Like this, all right. Look at that. That is really good. Really even, consistent uh, balance of colors. Good smooshy pattern. Really good. Okay. Now you might be able to see as I clean this, I'll probably pull the pattern just a little bit because it's that wet. You just gotta be aware of that when you are cleaning up, like you can disturb patterns that you really, really like. Like a little bit of leftover latex. You guys, man, I need to like practice my smooshies more. I really like this ring finger. I really, really like this thumb. I mean, I like it all overall but we're missing some blues in several of these nails. Like I'm displeased enough with it that I'm kind of reconsidering the stamping, but I don't think I'm going to because it's our, oh shit, it's already eight o'clock. That's not what time I thought I was gonna be saying there. <laughs> So, in order not to be streaming until midnight, um, get the cleanup brush here. <clears throat> um, Some flooding around your cuticles is pretty inevitable with this technique, even when using latex. And you can use an orange stick to somewhat help with that. But once you're done, you can also clean up around the edges with a small brush dipped in acetone. That was pretty concise. Whoopsie, whoopsie daisy. And of course this is always an important part, but especially with like messy techniques like this. Like I can't fathom being good enough with liquid latex to not need to clean up after a smooshy. Because if you don't have some polish like flow in places you don't want it, was it even a smoosh? I think that's leftover latex. Shit. Dropped my orange stick. Shit. Everything's falling on the floor. out of there <laughs> that's why I don't try to go that close with the latex because of that or instances such as that 
Like my I my little sidewalls are just very tight down in there. Like if you had more of a flat nail bed, I think that would maybe work a little bit better and easier. You know, and if you do a decal sun, then you get to pick the best part that you like. Um, like you can do a bigger, a bigger smooshy area. In fact, you can do like more drops of polish than what I was using and like just intentionally make a bigger area without having to do like extra smooshing. Oh shit, I smudged that somewhere. Oh, well, not noticeable. Not, not worth polish surgery. Supper was delicious. Good. More cider. I'm wondering now if it's a regular cider or hard cider. Hard cider always seems like it should be good, but then it always just tastes like beer to me. <laughs> and of course, the cuticle area getting a nice clean line there to fool the eyeball I really this this the thumb like I said and the ring finger the pinky is probably least favorite closely seconded by the index got another leftover piece of latex here too I think yep perils of going in that close at this corner it's getting it like caught in there mm. that's enough for the for the video kitchen look Oh no. Oh no, Sacrista. That is a problem. You know what that really means though? It means you have to make nachos more often so that you get more practice so that this this tragedy doesn't reoccur. Cleaning out the flooded area, Amethyst. I mean it's a combination of doing a little bit of you know orange stick work as you're peeling the latex or right after peeling the latex and then just being like really patient with cleanup because like it it does tend to get like down in there like what is this even oh that's okay it's like a little piece of hangnail can you please come off? There. Like, well you, well, you guys know I always do quite a bit more cleanup than what I show in the tutorial because I feel like, you know, at a certain point it's like, okay, I get the picture, let's move along. I don't find it to be a particularly interesting part of the video. But it's different for every manicure, and it's different, like I said, even depending on what polish you're using. You do smooshy in black and red, you're going to be sitting here for a while, you know. Might be worth it, maybe. Might not, I don't know. We'll see if my right hand smooshies come out significantly better than the left hand smooshies, then I think we all can tell that kitchen luck played a part. Oops. Tipped a bottle over. <laughs> yep. 
You've got to have some patience, Amethyst. You're a mother. Oops. Knocked into the into the ring light again. I apologize. Barbaritos. I've never heard of Barbaritos. What is a Barbarito? Is this a store or is this a restaurant? You would think that if it's a restaurant, you would think the chips would be like the cheap part of it and that they would be more stingy with like the topping, with like the cheese and the meats and the, I don't know, maybe you got beans and rice and corn and things, or maybe it's like more of a basic nacho. My nacho has all those things. <laughs> Whoa, again. <laughs> that one particular bottle. It's like right... I should move it, but I'm almost done. It's like right in the path between my hand and the the polish remover dish. Mm. All right. I think that's pretty good. Let's uh, latex up this hand. Mose, nope. It's always interesting, like, you know, new chains and old chains come and go. But then, like, you get talking to people from other areas of the country and you realize there's still, like, a shitload of places you have no clue existed. I hope this goes well. Should we try double stamping on this hand? No, that would be foolish. We already had over mixing with single stamping. Double stamping would be reckless. And you're being over there snoring. We'll see. Once it's not so cold in winter, he may grace us with his presence more often. I was almost like I don't usually keep the blankets on his chair in the summertime. I was almost to the point of taking the blankets off his chair and then we got the blizzard so figured probably should wait. Alrighty. <clears throat> Chip beans, steak, and shredded cheese. Steak, I don't think it's basic, Sacrista. <laughs> Barbecued burritos. Taco meat, chips, and cheese. Yeah, I usually have like some kind of chili or some kind of leftovers. Like most foods, most leftover foods could be transfer translated into nachos if you're if you're determined enough. And then like some rice and some corn and like multiple, multiple cheeses. Mmm. Dry latex. I want nachos. <laughs> Chips and guac 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 guac. That's why I think of guacamole. Sorry. Guacamole is on tier with coffee for being nasty. Partly the texture, partly the taste. Avocados are not. Not my thing. C4, I'm sorry. It's been a wonderful friendship while it lasted. <laughs> mm. Um, no, Amethyst. <laughs> we have not. Um, space heater's going. It's it's not bad. I mean, it's it's a small house. The space the space heaters have been surprisingly good. I mean, the last couple days when it's been warm, we haven't even had them on. Uh turn them on again today though, obviously. 
But yeah, with it, with everything else going on, <laughs> weird to say, the heat was not a priority. And uh, I mean, it's not like, you know, we're not going to even bother to fix it. I mean, we're, we're going to fix it, but not yet. Magic brain go juice. If if coffee worked as magic brain go juice for me, then I would love it, even though it tastes so, so bad. I think we can get going on the pinky here. We're pretty shiny. But like ca ca caffeine doesn't. Caffeine, ca caffeine, caffeine um, makes me talk fast, but that's about it. Like it doesn't keep me awake and it doesn't make me feel particularly like perky. This is also true, son. <laughs> I didn't see that either. We can't be butts anymore. Mm. All right, so let's just try. Okay, so we're going to try and keep these like reasonable and not like lopsided. Okay, that's already lopsided. So when I'm usually. Whoa, oh! I dropped the stem and it just. It went all down the side of the bottle. Meh. Not so nice and new now. Welcome to the family. Color Club polishes. No, that's way too big. God damn it. <laughs> well, we're gonna have one over here that's like all blue. Mmm. Um, what I usually do when I'm applying the dots to the stamper is, uh, is especially when I'm using like a three three color layout. It's one of the reasons I like a three color layout. I imagine a tic tac board, and I try to move them out that way, if that makes sense. So I'll, I'll explain it as I apply them this next nail. That one is so blue. There's almost no yellow. Irritating. Also kind of moderately irritating I'm trying to do all this left-handed, but we'll we'll get by. <laughs> Double guac and coffee, yeah. <laughs> the bacon grenades. Mm. Did I call it yellow shit? It's limon. Limon. <laughs> okay, so check it out. Like imagine, you know, three by three grid. We'll have one bottom, middle, top. This one's a little bit big. Then we'll have one middle top bottom and we'll have one top bottom middle so you see how i'm like evenly ish spacing them and then of course smoosh 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 um smoosh i don't like this smoosh Smoosh, smoosh, smoosh. Okay, we're gonna stop. Cause I'm not completely happy with that, but I also don't want to over smoosh it. But when the when the drops become like unevenly sized drops, then it doesn't matter if you lay them out evenly because they're still like uneven. <laughs> That's those mom powers. Oh, don't break, don't break. Oh, oh, you broke. It broke. You guys, might I just add, I'm really glad we didn't start this stream at 8. Because we started the stream at 5, and it's now 8.30. That's three and a half hours. If we'd started this at 8, it would be 11.30, and we would not be done. But I would have already had dinner. There is that. But I probably wouldn't have picked nachos because I'd have been 
worried to take too much time before a stream. It does read yellow in the overall design, though. I mean, I'm not going to lie. I could call it Limon all I want. <laughs> yes, doubtful. In fact, you know what? What the hell? Let's let's do it on these two nails, because why the hell not? This is not my greatest smooshy creation ever, so... What I usually would do is I'll do, like, that same technique of trying to keep the dots even, but I'll intentionally go heavy... Like, can you see how, like, big and blobby these, these dots are? So, like, you know, to have enough... I mean, you generally have some extra polish, but to have, like, really enough polish for two nails... Wow, these are really nice, even drops, though, you guys. Look at this. How satisfying is this? Oh, that almost was too much. Don't ruin it. Don't ruin it. Oh, it's ruined! Oh, it touched it! It touched it! Okay, so basically, smoosh, 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 smoosh. <laughs> God, I, I thought I was going to do it. That was so frustrating. So yeah. And actually, those didn't turn out bad. I maybe could have gotten away with it. If I'd, if I'd had that kind of dot control my whole manicure, which I, like, completely did not, um, probably we could have gotten away with it. <laughs> yeah, gotta make the sounds if it won't work. Smoosh, smoosh. Scoop, scoop. Even though I, I have only an orange stick and not a cuticle scoop. TM to, to music gal. So, well... Like, I, I don't know if you guys can tell, like, because it's not all shown on camera. Like, when I drop things and they just, like... Boing, like, they literally fucking have springs on them. Like, I'm dropping them, like, an inch and they bounce, like, a foot. Like, what even is that? What even is that? Come on, please. And of course, like, removing the protection, just like with water marble, if you do it wrong, yeah, it can bounce back and go right on top of your design and ruin your day. Doubtful! Thank you so much for gifting a tier one subscription to Dino. Which gives her a two month subscription thingy. Total, total cumulative subscri subscriber months. or I don't know. Is there a word? <laughs> mm. Tortoise shall call. You know, okay. So we had this discussion actually, Dino, because... Uh, Music Gal just did tortoiseshell nails and I mentioned about how my car steering wheel is tortoiseshell and I've wanted to do tortoiseshell nails ever since I bought it. I don't have any sheer browns, but a smooshy, a smooshy would be a very interesting way to achieve tortoiseshell nails. I've got a little bit of a smudge right there. What I'm going to do, can you guys see it right there? Whoop, as I almost make it worse right there. That's what happens when I try to do it in the camera. I'm going to try and fill it in with a little bit when I when I smooshy the thumb. Mm. My floor didn't even hit the floor the way I went this. It only hit the edge of the desk. And holy crap, I just saw that that's your 29th gift sub in this channel, Doubtful. Thank you. I can't see. I'm like touching my heart because like, thank you so much. Yes, your burning nipple is getting bigger. <laughs> yeah, you don't want your nipple getting too big. <laughs> yeah, from 1975. <clears throat> All right, so we've got one more. And we're just going to, like, again, like, nail size does play a part. I think that's part of the reason why the first pinky 
was so messy was it was like a little bit too much polish and I also had like some overly large drops of polish and just like problems in general but of course for most people your thumb is going to be your biggest nail wow that's sloppy so you want enough to like I said be generous and have enough polish to smoosh on there wow that was a sloppy smoosh and then just like right here I'm going to just try to like cover that up that that works and smoosh smoosh yeah we'll leave it at that see now this one for some reason and maybe it's because my thumb is a little bit more curved and I didn't have a ton of polish do you see how we actually don't have flooding in the cuticles so technically that's like almost an ideal amount of polish what happens is because there's like you can see it's like my my sidewall is like a little valley so the stamper just goes over top there so we have nails on or nails on polish on the nail and on the latex but not in the valley but if you have enough polish to flow which is not undesirable you may have you probably have enough to flood your cuticles too so it's a fine fine line what's so what song is that you guys you know whenever i like hear a song in my head and then i try to like <laughs> i never have the right beat i was in band i don't know why i can't keep a damn beat <laughs> oh my goodness i have only met another person named colette one time <laughs> that would be great son oh my god i'm so irritated with my slipper okay i have one slipper that's going like that because the sole is falling apart and i was like oh it's no big deal i'll just buy myself some new slippers when i go to target you guys why does target not have any goddamn slippers right now other than like the dumbest ugliest most uncomfortable ass looking slippers i've ever seen in my whole life do they think people don't wear slippers in the spring or summertime like does target think that slippers are only for winter because target let me inform you that you are in fact wrong about that and i'm very disappointed to not be able to replace my jacked up slipper in a timely fashion i don't know what, what i'm going to do now because like i i mean they're kind of cheap these these came from target in the first place and they fell apart but like they're cheap slippers i can't be like completely shocked i mean maybe i should buy some more expensive slippers but that just it's one of those things that like I have trouble with because I just don't agree with slippers being expensive so <laughs> I get cheap slippers and then I get mad at them for being cheap <laughs> mm, fuzzy crocs maybe I should get some of those I actually don't have any crocs I mean I know people say they're like you know ugly but comfortable I mean I could get behind that and the other thing is, of course, I mean, they're cheap ass slippers, but they're like my main shoes because I don't wear just like regular shoes when I'm in the house. Like when I'm at my desk, I'm wearing my slippers like right now. So they get like super heavy use. So maybe I should like actually invest in some actual. Is that more latex residue? Yep. Yep. Mm. you also gotta be careful that you don't go from pulling latex to pulling peel off base coat because that's a thing that can happen like it nearly did there i hope you guys could see that i was living dangerously there yeah i'll show you guys in a second here Actually, I could just show you on Beanie's camera. It'd be easy. Can you see how the... <laughs> Compared to... I mean, this is the regular one. That's how it's supposed to look. Just like regular, closed. <laughs> Not flapping and gaping open. Beanie, you coming, you coming to sit here? I'll make room. 
Room for Bainey. Hi, what, are you coming in my lap? Really? Yes or no? I won't say no to you. <laughs> he can't make up his mind. Can you settle? Can I can I finish my cleanup and then play with Beanie? <laughs> yeah, the puppet shoe. Yeah, and of course, I mean, like, that sucks going up the stairs and shit. You know, you're, like, catching the mouth of your shoes. And guess what, y'all? Shoes aren't supposed to have mouths. Hi, Bainey. Hi there, handsome. Oh, he's so cute. He's so sleepy. You just wake up from a little nap, boy. Say, so, yeah, what's going on? I, I, my public, have they been missing me? They have. They have, Benny. We've all missed you greatly. Thank goodness you made it in time for top coat, Benny. <laughs> Do you want more room or are you just... He's like looking so interested at me. <laughs> Doubtful. <laughs> like, I don't know what that means. Then you watch like, oh, my goodness. We were talking about that earlier, about people that like don't get Twitch or don't understand Twitch and then all of a sudden they're like, oh, I get it now. I would I would really, I wish I could get everybody to just like, I don't know, watch Twitch or have Twitch on in the background for an hour. Not And not just like something random. I wish I could find like each person like tailored to their interest. Because there's so, there's so much on Twitch, you guys. A lot of people that do know about Twitch, they're like, oh, I thought Twitch was just video games. And like, that's not the case. There's so much more on here. I hope we get more and more nail artists too. Like there don't seem to be a ton yet. But... They, they do show up from time to time. I've lurked in a couple other nail streams. Of course, Music Gal has been streaming her nails. And any of you that, if you, any of you guys start streaming, like, feel free to use the social section of my Discord to let everybody know. And if you didn't know, Music Gal usually posts there when she goes live too, if you want to check out her nail arts. Or other social media also. If you got Instagram. Like I don't I feel kinda like I should maybe rename that Discord channel or folder or whatever the fuck it is. But I don't know what I would name it to other than social, so I've just left it. But like Amethyst shared the other day, she's got a friend who's doing gunpla in there. So it doesn't have it doesn't have to be like your your social can share other things you think is cool other streams you found you think other other people here might like like some people are i don't know like more strict about like self promo or that type of stuff and it's not like i mean i can understand that too but like that's that is what that channel was set up for So please, please do use it. And of course, if anybody is new here and would like to join Discord, if somebody wants to exclamation point Discord and chat. Barbie, hello. You are a little bit late to the party, but you are here in time for the best part. You are here in time for top coat. Mm. Yeah, Caters does nails. I think I don't usually get to see yours, Caters, because usually we're streaming probably at the same time. Because Sunday night is my Hollow Knight night. But yes, I, I recall like one time you were doing it on a different day and I was able to, I don't know, host a raid or something. And it, I don't know, it's just, it's nice to see. Like, I, I love Twitch as a gaming platform too, obviously. But it's nice to see like more of 
quote unquote my stuff on Twitch. Uh, little goobers, get out of there. Little latex goober, get out of there. And all under this edge too. I don't know how I quite managed that. Like that's a lot of polish. Some of that flooding that somehow missed the sidewalls just like went under there. But I mean that's not like hard to hard to deal with. Just go in there with your with your cleanup brush or with a q tip. If my nails are a little bit longer, I'll use a q tip under there. And I'm missing a little bit of chat, I feel like, but I'm like I'm just, I'm trying to wrap up this cleanup without half assing it. Yes, crocheting or cooking. I honestly, like I said, I I would love to do like some cross stitching. Cooking, I would love to do, but my kitchen is definitely not like streaming friendly. It's not even like recording friendly. You know, I've got a couple cooking with Colette videos on my YouTube channel. And they're like, I don't know, they're passable. But like if, when you look at like real cooking channels and it's just like, oh my God, these gorgeous, like well lit kitchens and... I don't know. Sometimes it's hard on YouTube because it's like the more you watch other people's videos, you just begin to feel so inadequate with your own videos. Like, man, should I be doing this, this, and this like these other videos are? But you know what? You got to just do you. Like, not that you shouldn't worry about it at all, but you can only worry about it to a limited extent. And I feel like... I'm I'm pretty established as the way that I am. I feel like if I were to suddenly like start doing my tutorials in like a wildly different weird style, that's not what the people that are following me are following me for, you know? So I have to keep that in mind too. Not that I want my channel to be stagnant either, but I don't want it to grow in a disingenuous direction if that makes sense. Okay. Oh. Yeah. I, a lot of people seem to stream and then like decide it's not for them, which I mean, it's fine. I just, I enjoy it so much. I can't imagine like just streaming like two or three times and then like, meh. I, but then on the other hand, I, there are days like yesterday where I thought about streaming and then I never got around to it. And I can see how you could like that could just happen and happen and happen. And then all of a sudden you just never get back to streaming, which is why I kind of try to encourage myself to, we're not top coded yet, but encourage myself to stick to a schedule. Even if I switch up the schedule a little bit, like we changed the time, but we're still doing our, our Wednesday stream six or hours reorganizing a closet wow an organized closet is really nice though i wish mine were i wish i had a bigger closet so i could organized yeah i i really like how this is turning out barbie these are some of the color club whatever forevers um doubtful i don't know i mean this one we call this one coral it's got coral in it this kind of pinky coral that i did one water marble also that turned out kind of coral and i decided to call it a coral water marble even though it was pinks and oranges but it looked it ended up looking coral um coral is not my favorite color like i don't have a wide variety of coral polishes alex mcknight thank you for the host um so the answer is not no. Well, the answer is I kind of already did, but it wasn't planned as a Pantone color one. I wouldn't rule it out. You wish I was doing nail art on your nails. Thank you. Mm. Yeah, I'm doing okay, Alex. We're just getting to the top coat. So you're here in time for one of the best parts. And let's see if this camera is going to cooperate a little bit more. This is a little bit more... See, even this is struggling. The lighting is weird. The color, the white balance is weird. I can at least show these on this camera. These colors are really bright. And the camera's having a little bit of trouble with them. All the cameras are. I've tried all the cameras. 
but I'm pretty, I'm, I've got mixed feelings, you guys. I've got a couple nails I really, really like. I've got some I don't. Even like between the thumbs, if you can see this one has kind of more flowy, swirly patterns and these are a little bit blotchier. Like this one is one or two smooshes from being over smooshed. Um, I'm trying not to nitpick it too much, but Dino, I kind of have this feeling like maybe I know what your idea is. <laughs> yeah, that that is very, very true, Sacrista. And I appreciated that, even though it's like, I don't know, I wasn't sure what to expect because it's very difficult to get people from one platform to follow you to another platform. But even just, you know, having a few people will bring you up on the search page. Not that I, I don't know how many people are really looking in the beauty and body art. It was different when everything was just under creative. But yeah, there are a lot of people that, you know, don't, don't have anybody watching. And I am flattered on like a, well, not a daily basis because I don't stream every day, but like to like have somebody to come in and say hi to me within a couple minutes of streaming almost every single time that I stream takes kind of a weight off because it's like I don't know it's a good feeling um no but yes <laughs> spring easter vibes that is kind of where we were going we kind of decided it wasn't pastel enough for easter but yeah definitely spring Definitely spring. Sparkles are kind of Easter. And you know... No, you know, we're, we're just... I'm no. Well... Mm, I mean, we we thought about hollow top coat early. We had these two out. Um, where's, your, where's your label here? And like... I didn't get as many cool smooshy patterns as I really wanted. But my reasoning stands. Um, right now, kind of both of those would really just result in a silver haze over the good designs that I do have because I'm not going to have any sun to enjoy the hollow. Yeah. Well, and so Krista, I want to try that again because the, the that flower smooshy that I did was really really cool you, you know what we might do you guys maybe in a couple days we'll stamp on top of this would you like that maybe tomorrow we'll stamp on this shit <laughs> I don't know mm. yeah and it's just I don't know it's like there, there are certain things like no matter how much you try to stay on top of it there are certain things you can't just tell when you're streaming so just having somebody like in the audience to be like you know can you hear me can you see me is there anything weird happening between me streaming and twitch streaming it to y'all or you know all that stuff <laughs> salt bay you, you know i mean you could probably do something like that with this we're not doing Doubtful, I think you have been hanging around Dino too long. Cause, <laughs> I mean, if, if I were to do it, honestly, I would probably use this and I would probably bring it down from the cuticle. But we're not doing that. <laughs> Borb, what, what emote is that? It looks like Mr. Rogers. Is that Mr. Rogers? Oh, is it a, is it a, what's the scientist's name? Looks a lot like Mr. Rogers, though, but I don't think it is. Mm. <laughs> unreservedly. I unreservedly accept your apology, Doubtful. Your unnecessary apology. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Jelly Baby's Insta Dry. Yeah, I like Sally Hansen, but sometimes I swear they be pulling my leg. I thought I was going to get some of those. Uh, what were they? They were kind of metallic 
They were like Crayola Metallics or something. And then nothing ever came. <laughs> I'm... I'm th this manicure may have something done to it in the coming days, but I want to see it through in its original form. I've got a lot of like stray polish just like... I, be I better just put on top coat and then you guys will just have to accept that the manicure is over. <laughs> hmm. All right, doubtful. Oh. Get that off. It's like the closer I look, I'm like, oh, do I need to do like one more cleanup pass? Maybe I just like a little bit more around the cuticles. I'm looking forward to working with these colors again. I'm looking forward to the other smooshy, although I'm wondering how I can prevent maybe maybe we should do the pink smooshy. All as decals, you guys. But how are we gonna make sure that we catch them at the right dry time? I mean when we did the flower smooshy it worked out pretty good to do them first. And then by the time we finished like base coat and all the base color and everything, they were mostly ready. I wonder if that would work with this kind of a smooshy because it would be a slightly thicker to curl. Mm. Oh, that's to, yes. I know he was talking about that yesterday. It totally slipped my mind. I'm going to have to check the VOD for that. That's so cool. I think that's always so cool when people like from online meet each other in real life. I've only had the experience a couple times and never with anybody that I've like met on Twitch yet. Um, Claire and then the hollow top coat. Why so son? Hmm. Yeah, that makes sense. Benny, what are you do? Oh God. He's like crammed down there. Hey, dag it. I mean, I'm I'm home, so I'm safe. I still have no furnace, but I have a space heater, so I am warm. Um, and I don't have to go anywhere tomorrow either, so. I think before it got dark, it was looking like three to four inches out there, and it's still it's still going from what I can see. I think it's supposed to snow most of the day tomorrow. <clears throat> Glass drop. <laughs> That's great. Yeah, you want to see the picture, Daggett? This is from before it got dark outside. Yes, I have pics. Out of my window. This is what I was watching until... Try not to get the ring light reflection. This is right out of my window that's right before it got dark. It's really sticking in the trees. I was saying how I can kind of measure the progress by... Uh, whether I can see the neighbor's steps or not, like in this house. Oops. Bye-bye phone. Um, and they're, they're mostly covered up now, so. <clears throat> I'm in Minnesota, Alex, so. It, it's not unheard of. We had a blizzard this time last year also. It's just bogus. Yeah, there was no snow on the ground yesterday. It was 70 degrees on Monday. You want to see what it looked like yesterday? Check out that video. Because that was shot... That was shot either... S well, let me, let me... No, I don't have it open. I think that that was shot on... Wait, is it on here? I don't know. It, that was just shot a couple days ago. I was outside. It was nice. The animals were enjoying everything. Also, just look at that if you need some multi-chrome fire in your life. Dino, does that make you feel a little bit better since we're not doing hollow? <laughs> <clears throat> that is the, the manicure that we did the last time uh, we streamed the, the haul and stuff of these colors. Yeah, I, th I think that's the same storm, Alex. It's just coming through. Wait, where is what? 
Where's what, Dino? The haul video? The haul video's on YouTube, too. Oh, the hollow... No, it's Duochrome. Duochrome. Polish in Motion. That link, that nails link. I thought that's what you were ooing about. <laughs> Miscommunication at its finest. That's also something you just have to kind of accept as a streamer. And I can see how some people could get super anxious about it because I do get a little bit anxious about it. You're going to miss shit. You're going to misunderstand shit. You're going to misinterpret shit. You just got to like accept that and move on. Oh, the ghost wind. Oh, <laughs> Ooh. not. Ooh. <laughs> see, and I didn't even see the ghost wind comment. So I'm like, what you talking about? All right. Confused streamer aside. Let's get this top coat on here. One of the best parts of any manicure, of course. <clears throat> Once you're done with cleanup, you can finish with a top coat. And as usual, I'm using Sesh Feet. Is that a beanie hair getting trapped into there? Fuck. I think it might be. It's okay, right? You guys can't see it on camera? Okay, good. <laughs> Juicy, juicy top coat. And of course, top coat always makes everything better. I've never I've never had a manicure that was not improved by top coat, I don't think. Unless maybe you count like nail foils because top coat destroys them. And sometimes it's hard to resist like, well, let me try this top coat. Maybe this will be different. So, but this, it just, it smooths out the whole smooshy, smooths out all the finish, makes everything super glossy and satisfying. Whoa, that was a bit much. Okay. Let's do the other hand here. Yeah, I'm man, dag it. The camera struggle is so real. Like these, even these colors, like it's not. Okay, so look at we've got the colors here. We've got the colors here showing a different color. We've got the colors here showing a different color. This is probably the most accurate, but it's still not quite bright enough. But it's just, it's crazy. And I've tried turning the white balance off, but then that's just a whole different kind of struggle. I'm trying to set it manually. So I just leave it on and cross my fingers. But although I do like, I mean, I, I like having it, this camera, because it's like 60 FPS. I think I am going to have to find a capture card solution before we get to the swatching project because it's just not color accurate enough. It's bet it's better than my other camera, I think. And is better at showing hollows and duochromes a little bit. But I mean, for the swatching project, I would like things to be as accurate as possible. And you're never going to be like 100% accurate because, I mean, cameras have limitations. Your eyeballs are so much better than a camera. And that is never more real than what, until you were like trying to take pictures of nail polish. Especially like purples. Purples are assholes. Neons are assholes. There's a fuzz in this polish. Can I get you out? Just, okay. Yes. Okay, it's all the way to the side. Let's grab this. Come here. Come here. 
Orange stick, please. No, no, don't fall down. Don't fall down. Oh, I'm trying to pick it up with wet nails. And there. Got it. Okay. Disaster averted. Top coat. Finished. A color ca what the hell is a color calibration card, Dr. Crotron? Yeah, but that's only for Windows 10, dag it. I looked at it. It looks slick. And people have confirmed that it doesn't work on earlier ven versions of Windows. The uh, cam link. Thing's pretty freaking slick. Did you finish your, did you finish your farming doc? Orange sticks. Yeah, the limon. So, th this is the finished manicure for now, you guys. I'm super not ruling out doing something more to it tomorrow. Um, it's one of those manicures where it could go either way. It's like the things that are frustrating me could start to frustrate me even more, or I could just come to terms with it. So we might be, we might be, your your strawberry collecting and farming of things that you missed. Yeah, plus, like, my main my main editing program will not work in Windows 10, and I don't want to learn a new one, <laughs> aside from the whole money thing. And aside from, like, I don't know. I mean, people seem to hate every version of Windows now, but people really seem to hate Windows 10. You did the B-sides, too, Dr. Crotron. You ain't, you ain't gonna have nothing left for in-between streaming. Well, I suppose there's the seasides. Oh, you oh you mean you got them oh you got them uh uh unlocked, collected. Okay. Does it take like a certain number of strawberries to unlock them? I don't even know. Are you going to go any further in Celeste? You going to be having a secret Dr. Crotron stream tonight? Or not so not so secret? Hello to Virgil. <laughs> hmm. Oh, are they actually like a pick upable thing? I thought that they like just unlocked after you. Well, I I don't play that game, so shocker that I don't know anything about it. Um, so let's see what's going on in Twitch Land. Um, what is going on here? I I barely can even see my my stuff here, but let's. Um, okay, actually, let me move this over here, and then I probably... Strawberry shortcake. <laughs> no, in this in this game called Celeste, you collect the, uh, the strawberries. <laughs> well... Would you guys like some parasol painting? Or would you guys... Doubtful! Thank you so much! How many? For the hundred bits. The party bits. Oh, you're gonna head, to head out? Yes. Thank you, C4, for hanging out. I'm, you know, I've got those nachos to look forward to, so I'm having a... I hopefully to have a pretty good night as long as my nachos go smoothly. Um, parasol painting or uh, ceramic spinning, fuck, what is it called? Throwing, mud throwing, clay throwing. Um, what else creative do we have going on here? Or, or I mean, I could go non-creative, but I usually try to go creative when I've been, when I've been being creative, unless there's like somebody that I like can't resist throwing you guys over to like, yeah, pottery wheel stuff. Well, I'll send you guys over there. Um, to play in the mud. Um, I'm just going to be a host, not a raid. But if you like what you see, there'll be a little button you can click and you can go over to her channel. You can hang out in her chat. It's a pretty mellow chat. It's a pretty mellow stream. Um, like Kind of like we were talking about earlier. Really nice background, mellow music. 
And uh, the pottery, that's the damn word. The pottery is so freaking cool. You already said the word, son. I don't know why I'm so confused. You know, you know, I do know. I'm weak with hunger. That has to be the problem. So, um, a as I mentioned before, I've been procrastinating and I have several things that I need to fucking get done. I haven't done my taxes. So I don't know if I will be streaming tomorrow or Friday. And honestly, Saturday and Sunday may need to be abbreviated because taxes are important. Um, <laughs> so like, I mean, I'm not, I'm not tomorrow. I'm snowed in basically. Maybe I can get all my shit done tomorrow and everything will be fine. And you know, whatever, or maybe I'll just procrastinate the fuck out of everything until next Tuesday or whenever tax day is. I should figure that out. And I need one extra day so I can go see my, okay. L let me not talk about my, my taxes on online and how much I am disorganized, but <laughs> I, uh, yeah, you're $8 back. Well, that's the other thing too. Cause as soon as I'm done with my taxes, Hey, hey first estimated quarterly. Um, so even if I get money back, then I just instantly turn around and pay them. But I, I need to prioritize that like an adult. Cause I do. Um, but I might not, we might be back here tomorrow stamping on top of this or adding some hollow glitter or something like that. If not, probably we'll be back on Saturday doing some more with these awesome colors. Maybe we'll maybe we'll do the orangish one on the mat on Saturday or something. But um of course if you want to stay updated, if you are new around here, please feel free to join my Discord. It's where I post all my updates and unscheduled streams and that sort of stuff. Thank you all so, so much for hanging out with me. I hope you have a wonderful evening, afternoon, or morning, wherever you are. Hope you enjoyed the nails, and I hope I'll see you next time. And thank you everyone watching on YouTube. There'll be some, some things here. I'm going to try to start adding things here for anybody that makes it to the end of the archive. And I appreciate you guys all hanging out too. If you want to join me live, twitch.tv slash Colette MSLP. And if you want to keep watching here on YouTube, that's also fine. <laughs>